Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, let's see. Hello, Mel. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Harlow. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Wyden. Hello, Panda. Hello, Hunter. Hello, Tabitha. Hello, Goddess. Hello, Cherry. <gasps> Hello, Astro. Hello, Moon. Hello, Mercury. Hello, Mystic. Hello, Tropical Hedgehog. Hello, Maeve, I think that's pronounced. <laughs> Hello, Ari. Hello, Sean. Hello, Luna. Hello, Tack. <laughs> Hello, Foxy. Hello, Kylie. Hello, Emma. Hello, Aizawa. <laughs> Hello, Painting. Hello, Sunshine. Hello, Starla. <laughs> Hello, Doodle, and anybody else I missed. Hello! <laughs> How are you guys doing today? How we feeling? I already know you guys are definitely gonna want to see Malt, so I gotta, gotta get in-game immediately. <laughs> so happy I caught an elf region earlier. That's wonderful! Hi, Poopals! <laughs> I'm glad you guys are doing good. I'm also doing pretty well. Uh, something a lot of you guys probably wouldn't know. Um, I was at a hotel last night. I know I said, I think on Monday, that I would be at a hotel Tuesday night. I just got home. Okay, I just got home. Um, got a new laptop. Ooh, poofles, that's great. Yeah, I know quite a few guys are going to want to see Malt, so I'm going to have him out when I swap to the game. <laughs> I just got home. Uh, a lot of you guys may not know why I'm like so excited that I went to a hotel for a night. The hotel was only, like I want to say, 30 minutes away from me. So you guys might be wondering why I was so excited about that. Um, well... Currently, my house does not have hot water, um, and hasn't for a little while now, and so everybody in the house has been taking, like, cold showers, and it's winter. Uh, I'm sure you can see why that doesn't line up. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I, I was very excited to finally go somewhere. That had hot water. So I'm in a great mood. Um. And all that. Here's Malt. <laughs> Malt is here. <laughs> Kids in a cold shower even if it's summer. Oh, I've been doing it for months. Um. Is that Quarter Horse and IUH? Yes, he is. He was a gift. <laughs> this is Peanut Butter Malt. He's, he's my little guy. I've been spoiling him. Um, however, I'm gonna have to get Ranch out. Oh, my inventory is still overfilled. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Hang on, let's, let's get Ranch. Okay. <laughs> we gotta go fix my inventory first. Uh, I am back to over 2,000 items vaulted. So my vault is, um, doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it's just, it's been over 30 days since the update. So every time I log in, it's gonna fill my inventory to an, un an almost unusable amount. Uh, I am sorted by locked at top. I, I think I'm gonna sell some of my reindeer. <laughs> Is Cheddar Whale still your favorite IUH? Cheddar Whale was not my favorite IUH ever. I don't think. <laughs> uh, we're keeping Superman. We're gonna... Uh, yeah, we can get rid of you and you. And you. How many IUHs do you have? Currently 11, I think. 
I don't actually know. I think it's 11. Okay, what do we have here that I can get rid of? I need those reindeer. I've got so many. <laughs> I've I've given I've given out a lot of my reindeer too. Um, what do I have the most of? Can I sort by type? Yes, I can. No, what if I were they already sorted by value? We're gonna sort by value. Um, because the lower tier stuff, like you're a stone, you can you have to stay. You're iron. We can keep you. Also iron. Iron. Oh, I've got three of them. Okay. <laughs> do you have a fjord IUH? I do. Her name is Mouse. She was also a gift. Um, oh, hang on. I missed a few chat messages. I'm looking. Check your Duolingo streak. I don't use Duolingo. Um, what are you, which is a fjord? Mouse is leafy. Uh, you're my only one I have of that kind. What are you? Clear quartz and clear quartz. I can get rid of one of these. Who's your new IUH? Uh, malt is. What are you? Gold? Yeah, you can go. Clear quartz. Gingerbread man is a new one. We're only getting rid of that polar bear one because it's not new. Well, it is new, but it's not good. Where do you? Oh, hang on. Sorry, my mom was asking me what I wanted for dinner. <laughs> All right, dancing with the wild caught title I just found in my storage. Oh. What are you? Silver, silver, and iron. We're gonna get rid of the iron one and one silver. All of these tend to be more high tier ones, so we're not gonna touch these. What are you? I don't know what you are. I'm keeping most of the, the stuff that I know was given. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I got a little distracted there for a minute. Uh, we can get rid of one penguin, because I've already got... That's English. I've got three English ones for penguin. We can get rid of two penguins. Um, We got bar food for dinner tonight? You are so true. That is so true. Um, Got a lot of westerns in polar bear. We can get rid of one. Because I actually like that one. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of that jester hat. I'm probably gonna give it to Tango. Hmm. We're gonna- we're gonna ignore my collection of antlers. I'm- <laughs> I'm not proud of them. But I- I'm keeping them. Get rid of you. Uh, no, we're keeping you. All right. Face hollies. I've still got a ton from last year. Sorry, we're gonna IUH hunt in a little bit, guys. I'm just desperately clearing what I can. I don't know what snowmen... I can get rid of, I can get rid of some candy canes. Keep exactly seven. How many titles do you have now? I currently have, um... I think... 73? Yeah, 73. Get rid of some Christmas trees. Do I have any with, like, a cute top of the tree? I do. So we can get rid of a few of them. Get rid of two tail- oh, two tail hollies. One of these. I think I think we should be good. I don't want the archaeological ones. 
This pains me. <laughs> How many V1 vowels do you have? I have one. Snowman. Sell three of those. Okay. See how we're holding? We have 36 slots open. Yeah. Just caught an elf region on desert with Santa Fade. Ooh. Ah. All right. Let's start running. Um, we are checking mainland for events. All right. <laughs> we're checking mainland for any event horses that might be on here, and then we're gonna run all the other islands looking for, well, more event horses and IUH. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. I, I got up a little earlier than I usually do today. 36 to put on the zero. It's going to go right back to zero as soon as I rejoin. <laughs> like, I, I'm so... I desperately need inventory space. I wish it could be, like, optional on whether or not it rejoins your inventory because I'm... I'm trying my best to get space, but it's really hard. I've got a lot of my achievements done. Um, still working on the breeding one, but I've got quite a few of my achievements done, but my um but my my storage is full. My vault has 2000 items in it. So I would need Okay, I've got 2164 items in here. I I would need at least 217 backpack kits to take all of it out of my vault. And that is expensive. I can't afford that. <laughs> I would need at least 217 to grab all of the items. So I, I'm, I'm struggling just a little bit on inventory space, you know, just a little. Hello, Laura. Welcome in. How's your day going? My day is going pretty good. I got up really early. I, I just got home like a, a little bit ago. I'm, I'm just kind of vibing. I'm here. <laughs> Might be doing the hotel thing again tomorrow night. <laughs> I have a hundred backpacks with your name on them. That would help me so much. <laughs> like, that would actually help me so much. Who's Peanut Butter? Uh, Peanut Butter is Mel's leathery quarter horse. I I caught him and I traded him to Mel. I have a horse for you to meet. He's a pearly green paint named Sparkles. Aw, that's the name of my cat. <laughs> yeah, Mel can do pickups for me today if she would like to. Who is Malt? Malt is um a leathery quarter horse. He's just a little dude. I'll get him out again in a little bit, guys. <laughs> What'd you get for Christmas? Uh, a laptop, um, and a lot of food. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing to get for Christmas, is when people give me food. Someone- <laughs> That's kind of funny. When I lived in an apartment building, um, this old lady used to have her grandkids come by, and they would do that to us, too. I don't live in an apartment building anymore, but my, my front yard is big enough that, like, if someone tried to do that at this house, they would very easily get caught. <laughs> you cannot run off of my front yard in the time it takes us to get to the front door. Um, and I think most people around my area know that, so they don't do that to us. Hmm. 
Do you have any name ideas? I don't... I don't think I do at the moment. I'm... I'm, I'm not even getting good ideas to name my own horses, I can't lie. Like, I, I've hardly gotten the ideas for my own at the moment. Oh, ranch, let's not stand there. There we go. <laughs> as soon as I was done mining that, she was gonna drop right into the lava. This is not where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I'm working on getting my, um... Ah, okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that, too. A lot of people have cameras now, so... Doing that, and you, like, ring the wrong person's door... Like, you, you could get in some serious trouble. <laughs> Only 2,000? Man. Not to say I wish I was the person that bought that, but I totally wish I was the person that bought that. Um, both of my springies were 1.7 mil. <laughs> one of them I overpaid for drastically, and the other one was just fair. Uh, and the third was a gift. I I keep forgetting I have I have a third now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to make it up to plant based Nuggy to atone for my sins. Yeah, one of them I overpaid for. Like, don't buy an impure bot springy for 1.7 mil. I just did it because I knew the person who was selling it. That used to be my friend. Um, but. <laughs> But that's how much I bought, I bought mine for. Uh, and then my second one, I bought a day later. Like, literally the next day, I bought my second springy for 1.7 mil. Um, and... Hey, bro, what you doing? Anyway. Uh, that one was a fair price. That one was a very fair price. Because <laughs> that one was pure bought. What's your streaming schedule? Um, pretty much the only days that are guaranteed are Wednesdays and the day after events start. <laughs> I always, uh, I have more of a video schedule than I do an, a streaming schedule. Which is a little shameful, I know, but. <laughs> I've got, I've got a video schedule. I don't so much have a streaming one yet. It still gives me the freedom to kind of, like, hop on when I feel like it. <laughs> These horses need to go to the salon. So true! How many color changing... Do you mean, like, color changing shards? Uh, I have... Oh, I've only got 85 right now. I used my other... I had, like, 400 the other week, but I was using them... Um in the present machine, because I needed something expensive to put in there. So most of my color changing shards have gone to the present machine in the last week and a half. But don't worry, I am free of my present machine habits. Um, I, I can continue to, you know, function in normal society. Please stop adding that to the end of your message. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> we spent so many shards on the present machine. Exactly, Poofles. Oh.
Sorry, my mom keeps knocking on my door. Ah, hello, hello, welcome in. Facing my fears and going to grind jungle. Ooh. <laughs> Let me know how grinding jungle goes, because I love jungle. I just... I don't visit as often as I feel like it. Just gonna use them, because all my resources will be gone at the end. Oh, I get that. I have, um... I'm currently sitting at 131. <laughs> I haven't used any of them. I've just had them sitting around. That's on catching that pearly orange Frisian. Aw, thank you! <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got obsidian here. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, sorry. Someone in my family keeps just knocking on my door and asking me stuff. Am I unlucky? No, I think that's generally how IUH hunting goes. Like, you don't you don't always catch one, and there's... I can tell you, I've spent quite a few hours on Lunar. It's mostly down to just luck and a lot, a lot of patience. Do you have a root of jungle? If you go to my IUH hunting tutorial, um, all of my IUH routes that I use are available in that video. Not gonna ask, I'll give you my luck. Thank you. Ugh. Blue duck plate or cheddar whale? Cheddar whale. Don't get me wrong, I love blue duck plate, but cheddar whale. <laughs> It's kind of cold in my room. There's more obsidian over here. My brightness is down. Yep. Let's bring my brightness back to normal. Who's your fastest Arabian? Um. Probably Artemis. No, it's not Artemis. It's, um. Where are you? <laughs> Hang on. I'm- I'm finding. Where art thou? Down here? Mm, right here. Um, 100% purebred. OG Stat Arabian. Which would, by technicality, be my fastest and best stamina Arabian. If I trained it. Which I haven't. <laughs> I haven't trained it yet. Love Trident. Aw, oh, thank you. I do too. So I was like, all good. Don't worry. Hey. You don't respond to light. Yep, you're normal. Okay. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm a little tired today. I don't know how long stream's gonna go. Cause I... I woke up early and then I got home like an hour after stream was supposed to have started. Hi, Layla! So that's, that's how that's going. Red a red roan Icelandic on an Arabian. I got the Icelandic coat on Arabian. And max speed. Aww. So you're done on Lunar because I see the child. Yeah. I'll get malt out in just in just like a, a minute. This is case I was not feeling just shit even shit under 1k. That was back in May. Like, uh, May 21st is when I, when I hit 1k. Isn't that wild? <laughs> like, I, I hit 1k all the way back in May. It's, I think that's wild. I don't know about you guys, but... 
What's your best IUH? In terms of hair, in terms of breed, or in terms of uh, value? Because if we had to go with, like, best overall... Um... Like, if we're, if we're going best in terms of hair, it's probably... Oh, I've got so many. So many lunar ones. Uh-oh. Um... I'm gonna say it's probably cheesecake in terms of hair, because... Well... I, I know pearly isn't very popular with a lot of people. And I know... I know Moonstone's pretty popular, so... <laughs> Um, my best in terms of breed is Blue Duck Plate, followed by Cheddar Whale. And my best in terms of value, but none of these are ever for trade, by the way. All of these are not for trade. Um, my best in terms of value is Peanut Butter Malt, and he's my spoiled little guy. I love him. <laughs> he's the newest to the, to the family, and I love him so much. And he's clingy, so he fits right in. Look at all the clingy ones I have. <laughs> I love Earth. I do too. He's so cute. There it is, Mulan. Me too. Mulan was my first, and she will always be my favorite. Can we see Malt? Yes. Let me get the boy out. I gotta unwrap him from his blanket. Uh, there he is. Here he is. Here's the boy. Have you caught an obsidian hair horse? Yes. My third IUH I ever caught was obsidian. Here is the boy. <laughs> this is Maul. I love him. He's spoiled. He's got his little tack set. I gave him some hot cocoa. Um, He's got a little surfboard. I don't think he actually likes surfing or well, really knows how to surf, but you know. <laughs> He's got a surfboard, and yeah. That's the song with a prismatic beachy and he was like, bro, how? Uh, that is a dev gift. That's how. <laughs> um, that, that beachy Andy is a dev gift. That's probably the person who designed the beachy Andes. Can I get from Lily? Yes, I did. I got I got all of them. Most of them still have their names. Um, I still have I still have some that are supposed to be named by chat that I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So we might do that today. If not, I'll put it off uh, until the next stream. Cause I'm feeling a little tired, just a little sleepy today. Yeah, they're gonna do a St. Patrick's Day event this year. So far, I haven't... Um, I haven't seen anything about it. So I don't think so, but... You know, things are always set to change. I am not personally in contact with the devs, so it's really up to them. I can't- I can't give a definitive answer on that one. Meow. What's your least favorite IUH that you own? Uh, I don't have a least favorite. <laughs> I have a favorite, but I don't have a least favorite. Excited for the Valorant this year? I am too! I hope we get a Clyde! Like, I- I would love a Val Clyde. With a Valentine's Thoroughbred. Um, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> a Val Clyde and a Val Thoroughbred. I don't care what the, what the low tier is. I just, I want a Clyde and a Thoroughbred. <laughs> Have you ever met Trick? Never in game, though. Um, I know, I know they've been in, I know that they, as in like the devs, I know they've been in my chat once or twice, but that's, that's about it on that. <laughs> I don't- I- I've never seen Trick or anyone like that in-game. I think ever. 
If you could pick any IUH in game, what would it be? Um, like, if I could pick any to have, or just, just, like, a favorite out of all the ones in game. <laughs> like, I, I'm not, I'm not sure what the, kind of blue pearl are you itching or sea urchin? Aw, what breed? That sounds so cute. Hang on, we gotta get all these plants. There we go. Grab all of these. Especially the wheat. Which day is Flint caught? February 17th, I think. Right? February 17th? Let's go check. Uh, where's my boy? Yes, February 17th, 2023. <clears throat> his his birthday is definitely coming up. <laughs> How long were you in game till you caught Cheddar Whale? I was in game for about 30 minutes when I caught Cheddar Whale. Um, I wasn't IUH hunting. I was just kind of in game. <laughs> like I was I was just kind of chilling in game. I was recording a video intro and Cheddar Whale just kind of happened to be there. This is off game topic, but have you seen that there's po possibly a new Valve Royale High set? I know a lot of people hated the newest set for Royale High because of the masculine toggles still being very, very feminine. Um, so I, that's how, what I know on the most recent set. Um, but on the... If there's going to be a Val set, I can only imagine it's going to be shades of pink and red and probably a giant skirt like they do every year. <laughs> I don't I don't keep up with Royale High News that much. Like I'm in the subreddit where everybody complains about it, but um I don't I don't follow the updates as much as I probably could. Should I call my new Sapphire IUH? Um Name it. I really want you to name it Tide, like the, like the, like the laundry detergent. <laughs> just, just cause it's the same color. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really, really want it to be named Tide. <laughs> I think Tide Pod used to tag. I don't know if it still does. Did you catch an IUH on the last live stream? No, and I'm so sad about it. <laughs> I wish. Um, but we we did get malt last stream. Malt was a, a Christmas gift, and I love him. He's been spoiled so far, and I will continue to spoil him. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta give Ranch some time to get her breath back. She give me some of your IUH luck, cause I have yet to catch one. Um, I need it today, but you know, yeah. Um, Horsey and Kai both have identical quarter horses named Booberry. However, I think Kai was the one to have one first. <laughs> they both have black. I think quarter horses with sapphire mane and tail. Both of them are named Booberry, but I think Kai had his first. <sighs> yeah, they're they're identical with the same name. <laughs> oh look at Clyde! Why haven't you been to the salon? Oh no, that's a Mustang. I don't care anymore. You you stay how you look. <laughs> Looking like a Clyde from far away. That's just a catfish over there. Hey, what up, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna shame that Mustang. <laughs> bro is a catfish. So good that no one has an IUH Equinox. No one has an IUH Skelly either. 
I think the first high tier event that was caught as an IUH was the pressure on of this event. What up, bro? Yeah, there's... And most of the high tier, like, IUH events are, um... They're dev gifts, as far as I know. There are... There's, like, one caught one that I've seen. I don't know if there are any other caught ones, so I can't definitively say it's the only one. But I could, I could definitely say that the first one I've seen that was caught... Um, didn't they get an IOH one? Uh, I said there were no caught ones. <laughs> uh, did someone design the skelly? I thought that was what the devs did. Hang on, let me see if they credited anyone for that. They usually do. Oh. Skeleton Arabian. Um, come on, jump up there. Go on up. No, so there was only somebody credited for the spider web Appaloosa. Um, so from the looks of it, the devs probably were the ones to come up with the Skeleton Arabian, so there was no one to give one for. They almost always credit when they use a, when they use an, an idea. Have you ever caught an IUH event? No. <laughs> I wish. I've been trying. I've got one. Um, his name is Malt, but... I didn't catch him. I just got him as a as a late Christmas gift on Monday. You know, it's the rarest caught IUH currently. Um what is the what is the oldest IUH event? Probably I'm going to say it's probably What? There's only like hmm. No, I feel like I don't know. <laughs> That's actually a really good question. I was gonna say, like, I would think it would be that Moonstone, like, uh, Blood Moon Thoroughbred. But there's... Cause I'm excluding dev gifts, by the way. We're not counting dev gifts. Um, because there's the Moonstone Blood Moon Thoroughbred. I know it's never been for trade, so I don't know what people would auction for it. But, um, I know that one exists. That's from the Halloween event of last year. Uh, because that was, that's October, so that's right after IUH Horses came out. So it's probably one of the older event IUHs. Uh, so I'm gonna say, if I had to, like, think about it, I'd probably say that, that Thoroughbred. <gasps> Isn't it Praise Northern Andy? I, I wouldn't think so. Um, I think there's only... Because I know there's more than one IUH Northern Andy. I haven't seen another another IUH Blood Moon Thoroughbred. There might be more, but I'm 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 keeping my eye on the the Thoroughbred. I think I'm gonna keep my opinion right there. <laughs> it's also gorgeous. This is a gorgeous horse. Man, I'm sleepy. <sighs> oh, imagine getting to eat outside. I'm, I'm, it's winter here. And while we may not have that much snow, it's still so cold. It's, oh, I'm freezing to death, I swear. It's cold in my room, too. Grabbing the plants. If you could catch any IUH, what would it be? I I wish I could catch a Moonstone Midnight Snowstorm Percheron. Think of how pretty that would be. <laughs> like, that would be gorgeous. I wish I could catch one. Do you like the flowery IUH? I do. Love an event Percheron with a pearly blue mane and tail. That'd also be so cute! Oh, that sounds adorable! 
I don't know. Most of the Lunar Maiden Tails would work on it. So, like, I'd love to see a neon blue one, but neon purple on the event purge? Like, mm. Like, that'd be, that'd be adorable. There we go. No ranch. Don't hit the trees. Ooh, plants. Grabbing these because I'm short on resources and food. Swim. Uh, usually if you, if you express that you, you, you're not like a very strong swimmer, uh, assuming, assuming this is a class and not something you signed up for, um, I'm, I'm gonna say, just tell them you're not a strong swimmer. <laughs> so, like, it's likely you'll either get switched out or they'll be a lot easier on you. Like, if you absolutely cannot swim, they'll probably start out easy on you. I know I never took swimming. Here we go. Grammarly sucks for writing fantasy books. I have never used Grammarly. Huh. It can't be that bad, can it? Writing a graphic novel and it was so bad. Oh no. I don't I don't use Grammarly, so I really wouldn't know. Do you have tips to catch an IUH? Yes, I have an entire video on it. What's the quickest way to get inventory space? Uh questing, um, achievements, or if you want the fastest but most expensive, backpack kits. There you go. <laughs> The school thing uh you're not forced to do it if it's just a school thing um if if you've got a parent willing to vouch for you have them call like call the school either you could completely get out of swimming um but you'd probably have to do something else or um you could get arrangements made like that's that's the best thing to do um and ugh, faking sick isn't gonna do anything it's just gonna put you further behind the class, and then you're- it becomes an anxiety thing. So, um, you won't be able to fake sick every time you have to do swimming. <laughs> That's- that is a thing that goes over a period of, like, months. You can't fake sick for that one. Um, so I would say have a parent call the school and make some arrangements. Means for Clover Clive, Lemon Lime Fade must be silly. Um... Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> I really just want to say Sprite. <laughs> like, it just, it, I just want to say Sprite. Listen, this is gonna be terrible advice and might get you in trouble at school. Um, but if you really, really don't want to swim, they, I guess, can't- if you're in the U.S., they can't force you to. However, you would get a zero for that class, and that will affect your grade. Um. So, yeah. It's not, it's not like they're gonna force you to. I know for a while I would I would sit out of PE until I finally got excused from it. Am I proud of that? Not really, but you know. <laughs> um I used to I used to sit out of PE because I have really bad asthma. Um and I I literally just it would be so hard for me to breathe. Um and so I, it got to the point that like I would almost faint after every PE class. So I just started being like, yeah, I'm just gonna have my mom call. They'll figure it out. It took them forever to excuse me from PE. Um, because we had to get doctor's notes and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, I got excused. It just took a long time. So I would sit out in between that. And then finally, I just got transferred out of PE completely. Oh, <sighs>
It was weightlifting instead of team sports, but I decided, no, Poofles, weightlifting is fun! That's the fun, P.E. How badly do you want a prismatic IUH horse? I don't know. <laughs> I Is this like a what would you do for a Klondike bar situation? Like, Because <laughs> um, I, I really don't know. <laughs> Yeah, weightlifting is mostly a, uh, a high school thing. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go, ranch. Man, I gotta, I gotta remind Kai that... That I, that I still have wiggles. <laughs> I gotta remind Kai of that. I'll do that after stream, it's okay. <laughs> I gotta remind Kai. <laughs> Get a horse ride. Bye! What's your dream horse? Um, how to get fawn horses? You can catch fawn horses in the wild. Sorry, sorry, I just immediately jumped to another message. Um, my dream horse is, I've got two of them. They're both incredibly expensive and unrealistic goals. Uh, but my dream horse is either a pure wild caught title or a V1 Infernal Frisian. Both of which are crazy expensive. Um, and <laughs> are unrealistic for me. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna mm. listen. I'm I'm gonna continue being a little delusional on my dream horses because it makes me happy. <laughs> uh, would you take an IUH? We wanted to give it to you. If you, you're gonna land it. Um, I usually the answer would be no, um, unless it was for a special occasion. Uh, but until the 15th, I am accepting gifts, uh, because I, I promised to accept them until the 1st, and then I was never in a public server that entire time. Is that a foal? Hey, bro, how you doing? What, what's up? <laughs> Here, we're gonna really quickly waste a lasso. I need inventory space, so we're gonna, we're gonna waste a lasso real quick. There we go. Traded it before they did the remodel. Oh. Yeah, it we might have Mel do gift runs today, but I don't I don't know. It's up to her if she'd like to. Yeah, that reminds me. I've got a very important message to type out after stream. Hmm. I'm like just sitting here thinking like, oh, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Hey, man. You can't be sitting here not having fancy hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess you're not, you're not sitting there. <laughs> Bro's running around. Welcome back, Wyden. Is that apple juice on your profile? Yes. Can you kiss Ranch? No, but I can brush her. I don't think she wants a kiss right now. She wants to be brushed. Look at her. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess stop doing that. Remember, close the check after you've sailed. <laughs> Do you have a fawn Frisian? Are you asking about V1 or V2? Hello, hello, welcome in. <sighs> I can already see the one over there. Any? I have a few. Um, mostly V1s. I don't have a V2 Fawn Frisian quite yet. Not too, not too sure I'll be able to catch one, but I've been trying. 
The only the only fawns I'm missing are a V2 Clyde and a V2 Frisian. Because I've got the V1s of both. I don't have the V2s. I already got the Icy and I got the Teke. So we're just waiting on a Frisian and a Clyde. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome in. What's your favorite horse? Um, my favorite is... Ooh, there we go. If you mean breed thoroughbred, if you mean my favorite horse in my inventory, um, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Trident, like always. If you had no V1 fawns or titles or skellies, what would your favorite horse be? Um, well, I mean, you never said I couldn't pick a V1 Val, so I'm gonna pick Apple Juice, my V1 Val. Hello, Cheese! What's your favorite gift you've received? I don't have a favorite. <laughs> I, I've, I love everything I've been given. <sighs> Alright, let's get to Blizzard. Run. Alright, let's go. Oh, hang on, guys. I gotta mute for just a second. Okay, actually, I can still talk to you guys. You just, you'll hear me typing. <laughs> All right, let's see who's in chat. Chat name the V1 Frisian. Yeah, there will be a there'll, there'll be a few horses that'll get named. <sighs> is your background music inspired by Animal Crossing? Yes, it is. There we go. Sorry, I was handling something real quick. Imagine you catch another IUH on the stream. I would love to. <laughs> like, I, I wish. Who did you got? Son named Tinsel. Aww. Well, I absolutely adore Tinsel. And Garland. <laughs> You see your V1 Fawn Frisian? Which one? Guys, please don't please please don't spam your times in chat. Reach twenty seven thousand event tokens. That's wonderful. <sighs> Your favorite? That's oatmeal. I'll get oatmeal out in just a second. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not doing horse naming today. Um, as I, I really don't have any ideas. Uh, 
Okay. I said so the fair just remember. I do remember you. Hello. Man, even this horse didn't go to the spa. You got you guys got to start going to the hair salon. <laughs> Have you finished your capture log? Yes, I have. I finished it a while ago. You could get any event IUH, what would it be? Um, like any? I would, I would probably go for, um, a Moonstone or Topaz title. If I could really pick just any. But that's just because I'm a title collector. If it has to be one that's actually possible, um, I would go for, like, a Moonstone, uh, Midnight Snowstorm Percheron. Alright, let's, let's watch how many items it puts in my inventory this time. Alright, let's let's see how many items it puts back into my inventory now. <sighs> it isn't a prismatic title. It was never a prismatic title. I don't think I ever picked a prismatic title. I know we've spoken about the one that exists, but I don't um Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Last time they moved quite a few. It wasn't just five. I, I Every time I log on, I get scared that I'm gonna just keep getting more items. I don't have the inventory space for it all. I'm working on it. No, I've spoken about the one that exists, but I don't think I've ever said that I, um, that I ever wanted one. What is wrong with the way I'm loading? That's fine. Uh, that's okay. We'll ignore that. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Lasagna. What's your favorite IUH on jungle? Uh, Topaz. Topaz is my favorite on jungle. <laughs> nah, Jordan, I get it. I'm only checking mainland to look for event horses. What's your favorite island? Desert. My favorite island is desert. Man, there's never any cool event horses on mainland. But we'll look every time. We have to check every time. After all those IUH Lunar gave you? Yeah. Listen, Desert's given me one as well. Granted, only one, and Lunar's given me six. But, you know, it's... It's fine. <laughs> Desert's just always kind of been my lucky island. Um, and I know it should be lunar now, but... Desert desert has always been my favorite in terms of atmosphere. Um, I really like most of the IUH colors on desert. Um, so that's, that's just kind of how that's going.
There we go. All right. All right. Hello, Akira. <laughs> What's your favorite game pass from the game? Free travel. Would not be able to live without that game pass. It's by far the best game pass in the game. Like VIP is pretty is pretty cool, but free travel I would not be able to survive without. Two times XP is worthless now. I mean, if you're leveling up, no, it's not. Um, but after your max level, it does kind of become like, well, yeah, useless. <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend it if you if you like don't don't really need it. Like, I know you could probably get to max level without it in around like a month, maybe under a month if you play super frequently. Um, but I would say, <clears throat> I would say, uh, it's not that worth it. That's why I don't have it. <laughs> I don't need it. Um, back, did you get an IUH? No, but I wish. We're working on it. How do you get so much money? Well, when I have inventory space, I try to catch horses and sell them. Love your live chat avatar. Thank you! Uh, Mel drew it. I'm gonna be replacing it with a different one on the 15th. Or after the 15th. So, if I stream on the 15th, that'll be the last day that I will have this one. <laughs> Let's pray that Tim gets an IUH. Ooh. It's a new PNG or the old one. I can use the old one, like, any time. <laughs> like, I, I have both of them set up. Sad to see Chubbins go. Chubbins is always here. Like, come on. Here, let me prove it. Chubbins is always here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Chubbins... Chubbins is always here. <laughs> like, bro lives here. <laughs> he is literally always here. He just he's been joining me for for streams for the Christmas season. I will I will happily take some some manifestations of an IUH. Why do you like red pandas that much? Why do you like your favorite animal that much? <laughs> like, I... Hello. Where's your fancy hair? I don't see blue and green on that man tail. Anyway. Um. So do for a year? I haven't been posting for a year. <laughs> but I'm... I'm sure you've been here for quite a while. It's just not a year. <laughs> um. Let's see. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like them because they are the perfect cross between a cat, my second favorite animal, um, and a bear. Because bear. <laughs> I, I have been streaming for two years, going on three, but that's not on YouTube. My, my YouTube channel is less than a year old. What about horse would you say is ugly? I don't think any of them are like ugly. 
Um, like, I've got a few that I personally don't like because they don't fit my aesthetic, but I don't think I'd say any of them are, like, super ugly. Maybe, maybe the, the Sunset Teke. I'm not a big fan of those, but I have one that I love. His name is Pencil. <laughs> I caught him and I named him Pencil. Do you like the Chestnut Elf Frisian? I do, actually. <laughs> I love that little horse. It's so cute. I, I actually didn't know that I'd love them as much as I, as much as I do. Like, when I, when I, okay. The first, like, three messages I got when the update dropped, because I wasn't home when the holiday update dropped, okay? I, if I remember correctly, I was out doing stuff with my family. Um, so I was not home. Uh, and so from there... I, I got, like, three messages. One said, you're going to hate the new Frisian. Another one was like, oh, dude, the new Frisian is so ugly. I don't think you're going to like it. And all, all I could reply with was the eyes emoji. So I was expecting the worst, okay? I, I was expecting something absolutely hideous. Instead, I got a horse wearing clothes, and I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of happy. <laughs> Like, to be completely honest, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it. I love- I love silly stuff like that. Um, I don't remember what the third message I got, though, was, but... <laughs> I- I had been prepped into expecting the worst possible thing. That was a tech -A? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> that was a tech -A? What, silly stuff? Horses and clothes. <laughs> Tango, I was talking about how when the holiday event dropped, I wasn't home. So when the when everybody saw the Frisian, I got like three or four DMs that were like, oh, this Frisian is ugly, you're gonna hate it. And so I was expecting the worst, and all uh, <laughs> when I got home and I saw it, and it was just a, a Frisian with clothes on, like with clothes, I was... <laughs> I I was like, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> oh yeah, you were the one that told me it would be pretty silly. I got like three or four others that are like, this is a horrible Frisian, you're gonna hate it. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, this might be really bad. And it really wasn't. It was so cute. <laughs> I was a little iffy on um, the pure one because everyone kept saying like, oh, you know, it's cute as a foal or like, I guess it could be cute if it doesn't have the pure mane and tail. I love it. <laughs> I, mm, I love, I love the silly little horse in clothes. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I think it I think it definitely is one of those things that has to grow on you. And they could have at least put more shading. Yeah, I think a little more shading could have been good, but at the same time, like here, let's go take a look at Garland. Where are you, my boy? Garland. Look at him. Look at that face. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Bro is adorable. <laughs> Made the ruffle, the leg ruffles and collar 3D so it looked real. That'd be, that would be so cool. You are so right. Or maybe the belt. I feel like, I feel like the belt could look really cool. But like, I get it. It, would, it could have just been, like, a last-minute thing. Didn't really have time to polish it all that much. Yeah, I think it's really cute, but I find that on event day lately, more players are negative about what's going to happen rather than positive. So, like, they drop a new coat and people immediately, like, say they're... Okay, say there's like a tiny little bug right at the start of an update, which every game has that issue, I just want to point out. Um, immediately, a lot of users tend to jump to, wow, this is a terrible update. But then like two days later, they're like, yeah, I love this update. 
you know, like, here's, here's this accessory and all this. I love this update. Like, it's, there, this, I'm gonna be honest, the Wild Horse Island community is a little, a little indecisive <laughs> on, on how, on how they feel about any of the updates. Like, when I don't like an update, do I, I do say it, okay? But I tend to, like, I will, I will say what I don't like about the update. But I find it's easier to go and be like, okay, well, I don't like this about an update. Let me find something I do like about the update. Like, that's, that's kind of the better way to give criticism on something. Find something you don't like, find something you do like. That way, you know, instead of just giving the devs like, oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Give them, I love this, okay? I love this. I don't like this. And give them why you don't like it. <laughs> like, that's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's, it, it's also a lot more helpful, probably, I would assume, to the devs to know what you do and don't like instead of just what you don't like. Um, that's why whenever there's, there's updates and I make a video, I'm like, well, I really don't like this, but then I go and I do something I do like. What, firework courses? So I hope there's a July event. Aww. I, I feel like that could go into the, well, I guess the summer events usually in June. Um, huh. Hello, Cam. How many training horses do you have? Like, training island uniques? Um... That's why I'm saying I feel like they can go into the summer event. Like, fireworks stuff. Because fireworks aren't exclusive to the 4th of July. Um... Fireworks are generally just something people do in the summer. So, I... I feel like... That's, that's just something you can, you can put in there. It's just a, su a summer thing. People, just in general, especially around here, they just shoot fireworks off in the summer. Because it's, the weather's warm, it's warm enough at night that you can sit in your yard and look up the pretty fireworks that maybe you're, you're putting out. Or you can play with sparklers and stuff like that. Like, around here, it's not, it's not just a holiday thing, it's just something you do. It's like camping. Not, not many people are going camping in the winter. Usually they'll pick the summer or fall to do it. <sighs> so I feel like I feel like it, the firework thing could still be there. You don't have to be American to enjoy fireworks. <laughs> I I don't even think I don't even. Okay, we're gonna go off spelling because I've never actually met the devs. I don't, I don't think they're they're American either, are they? Um, going off of like spelling in game, like the way they spell paycheck, um, the way tire used to be spelt uh, on Training Island. <laughs> like it, I'm just saying, fireworks could be a cute kind of horse coat, and you don't have to be American to enjoy it. Like, as long as they don't just, like, slap an American flag on it, I think it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be so cute, Jordan! Yeah, exactly, I'm going off spelling. I don't- I don't think they're American, so... I mean... If they want to add a firework course, they can put one in. I think it's fine, as long as they don't slap, like, um, a, a flag on it. Yeah, um, most of the most of the sites, like the merch site, uh, ends in a Canadian thing. So I think I think they might be Canadian. Like the the merch site URL. <laughs> in which case, uh, they would also have fireworks in July. Uh, Canadian Independence is July first, right? And then we have July fourth. <laughs> so I mean, it would apply to them technically. <laughs> But regardless, I, I wouldn't mind a cute little firework horse. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> yes, Tango. Have you guys been seeing the July slander on TikTok? <laughs> I keep I keep getting those slideshows of like your birth month, your and then like one of them was obscure candle scent. And like um and it was <laughs> Just every couple months would get, like, something absolutely out of pocket and absurd. So all of the months were real candles, except for, like, two. No, maybe four. It might have been four of them. So, like, the first one, um, the, the very first one, it was, like, January was normal. It was, like, blueberry or something. Uh, February was normal, and then you get down to April, and it's, like, um, uh, what did it say? Oh, now I'm having trouble remembering. I know one of them was, like, old used Tupperware. <laughs> um. <clears throat> another one. Um. Hmm. You could do a short with title. You'd be on your birth month. Yep, and Zodiac. Just because I thought it would be funny. And then a lot of people got kind of upset that Trident wasn't in both videos. I, I've got enough titles that I can make so many of those videos without having to repeat titles even once. And they used to have a channel for suggestions? Yeah, they used to. It was taken out, um, if I remember correctly, because there were a bunch of fights. Like, every single time someone would suggest something, uh, people would go in and be like, yeah, um, no, that's a terrible idea because, and like, all that, and I, if I remember correctly, even I witnessed a bunch of fights happening because of that. <laughs> like, it got to the point that, that people were fighting constantly whenever I looked in there. Or, like, people would suggest things, and, um, people would suggest things and be like, well, we need, we need, like, uh, what was it? Like, the little, the little bonnets, and they're like, we just, we need all these. They would, like, repeat them. This is before we had leads, too, so they'd be like, we need leads, and... Uh, other people would be like, yeah, um, stop. Like, these were people who weren't mods, and they'd be like, stop suggesting that. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, they already spoke on that. And then there was an announcement that was made at one point that was like, hey, um, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. If you're not, like, a mod or anything, like, don't. And I remember just, there are YouTubers who have custom stuff, you can get their codes. Do you want to do something like that one day? One day. <laughs> that could be cool. Um, hello, magical ferret. I don't know if I, I said hi to you when you got here. <laughs> oh, my hands are cold. <laughs> Be cool to have zodiac horses like how they have the fawns. I think that could be neat, but I know, um, I know, I know that could also cause some issues. <laughs> like, I know, I know that could cause some issues with some people. So I, I don't know. In my Elfrisian Shrek. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. Man, I... I just, like, yesterday read the actual Shrek book. Like, the actual... The, the book for Shrek. <laughs> yeah, there was... There was a lot of people being feral in there. There's a book? Yeah, there's a book. I didn't even know there was a book. Yeah, there's a book. Shrek is a story. <laughs> um, and I guess I should have known that, being that every other character there had a book. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. I found the book because uh, people people were making comments about like Shrek, and someone goes, "Have you guys actually read the book?" And I I'm like scrolling on Twitter. I'm like, "There's there's a book." So I open, I open the link, and yes, there's a book. <laughs> Shrek, there is a Shrek book. <laughs> Where? 
You a ginger in real life? No, not even close, actually. <laughs> I'm a brunette. I'm a brunette. I would assume the book did come out before the movie. And let me let me tell you why I assume this. Um because they they don't look identical. Usually when when a book comes out after a movie, they'll usually match the appearance of the character to the character as they are in the movie. Instead, the movie actually takes on a much different um like description and appearance to Shrek than the book does. Should I return to my IUA slash event, slash event grind? Ooh, you could. <laughs> Get the good horses. You got this. I am finding absolutely nothing. Hello, Crystal. Would you like a red panda horse? Oh my god, I would. That sounds so cool. However, I can't think of what it would be for. Love when they make movies off of books instead of books off movies. Yeah. <sighs> Chinese New Year. Isn't this year the year of the dragon? <clears throat> Come on, ranch. Back up. There we go. I think I read that somewhere on uh, TikTok, that this year's the year of the dragon. Because uh, people were happy that the, the dragon meme, the dancing dragons, were, uh, were, were trending. And someone was like, I hope this continues in the new past New Year's. Because it's the year of the dragon, and there's a dragon meme trending. So that's how I found out. I never pay attention to that, but that is how I found out. All right. Yeah, but it's exactly the same way I found out. Poofles, I, I feel like we constantly send each other memes that we find. <laughs> um, last year was the lion. No, 2023 was the year of the rabbit. Um, this year it's dragon. Um, I don't. I'm I'm having so much trouble keeping up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like zoning out. My brain is jumping all over the place right now, and I don't know what to focus on. Yep, 2023 was the year of the rabbit. I looked it up. This year's the dragon. Um. <sighs> I think the year I was born was, um, the year of the sheep, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I, I was, I was born on the year of the sheep. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm a sheep. I'm a sheeple. I follow. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna follow whatever's going on. Hey, um, the way that I found out was uh, in Halloween, like, uh, on Halloween one year, uh, we did some downtown trick-or-treating, and I was in elementary school, and this, this Chinese restaurant gave us a calendar that had, like, the, the animal years on it, and so I went to find mine, and I was like, oh, I'm the year of the sheep, and then I just kind of remembered that ever since. <laughs> Um, and now that we don't have that calendar anymore, I found out what type of year it is from Adopt Me, because they do the boxes every year. 
So like for the year of the rat, they they did a rat box. For the year of uh um uh the rabbit, I think there was a there was a I don't remember what they did last year if they did one. They might have. I think they did a rabbit one. They do a box every year. And so I so I keep track of it using Adopt Me and their little boxes every year. Bye, Shannon! Tango, my inventory is still suffering. I don't think I'm ever going to recover. Hey, no fancy hair, no ride home. Yeah. Um, Ferret, some of the messages disappear because mods are deleting them. It usually means that the, the message broke the channel rules. We recovered to get the backpack upgrades. That's so true. <laughs> Man, I need 217 to get everything out of my vault. That's- that's how that's going. I'd need a total of 217 to take every single item out of my vault. What are we talking about? Um, the, uh, the- the animals, like the Chinese New Year ones. This year is the year of the dragon. You still have the IH Drizzle? Yes, I do. He is staying in my inventory permanently. I love him, and I'm never letting him go. <laughs> he's- he's permanently going to be with me. I will always have him. Most of the gifts I receive- I receive permanently stay with me. Some of them do go to my alt, because I am very short on, um... I am- I am very, very short on storage, but... Um, most of- most of the, like, bigger gifts I get stay with me permanently. They never get traded or anything like that. Some do go to my alt, uh, where I use them on my alt when I'm grinding, but... Overall, I try to keep everything. <laughs> so we're strapping the jewels to her back with duct tape. So true. <laughs> Sorry, my hands are cold. I keep taking them off the keyboard. <sighs> Alright, Ranch, get your stamina back. Can we see his tax set? Yeah. And then I gotta get Ranch back out so she can get her stamina. Uh, where are you, my boy? There he is. So is there a bridge on desert? <laughs> when you start doing your quests. Anyways, here's the boy. This is what he's rocking with currently. <laughs> mm. This, uh, this little guy was a gift. He, he was a late Christmas gift on, um, Monday. He was from Hannah. You weren't lying. Wait, what? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> Look at him. He's just so cute. He's just a little guy. I'm gonna spoil him. When you're on desert, you get asked about the bridge. I told you. Every time. <laughs> I have predetermined dialogue every time somebody asks me about that bridge. <laughs> I told you. It really is just every time. <laughs> you guys gotta start doing your quests. <laughs> You've given me permanent dialogue to have every time you ask. You guys gotta start doing your quests. Look at him. One more, one more. I'm sorry, my little dude. Is he leathery? Yes, he is. And I love him. 
He's he's just my little baby. Look at him. We don't get the fade slash pure dyed IUHs that hides their beauty. Uh, usually it's. Mo I like when people like mismatch dye them. So like if I was gonna dye this little guy, I'd probably dye his uh, like his his tail, the chocolate sprinkles, just to like if I wanted to mismatch dye him. Uh, I love them. <laughs> I love when people only dye, like, the mane or only dye the tail. Like, if I was gonna dye this little guy, which I don't plan on it, because he's, he's super cute. Like, his mane literally matches him perfectly. But if I was going to dye him, I would dye his tail the sprinkles. Like, with the, the sprinkle dye. That way it would match the little spot on his butt. He's so cute. Just, just, let me just, mm. <laughs> Alright, let's get Ranch out and let her get her stamina back. They recover stamina much slower when they're in your inventory. Um, so, you know. And a purple pink fade tail. Aww. Alright, Ranch, let's go. No, you didn't miss a lot. We've mostly just been hanging out and talking. I used to dye Mulan. I don't know if you guys knew that. Anytime I went into a public server, um, and this is back when IUH horses were only like a couple months old, so nobody knew what they were. I used to dye Mulan's mane and tail black so that people wouldn't come up to me asking questions. Like her mane and tail used to be dyed black like every few days if I just didn't feel like dealing with people. That was, that was usually my reasoning, because IUHs were new at that time, and so a lot of people would come up and be like, how did you get that? What is that? Um, and I really got sick of people coming up to me for a while, so I, I dyed her mane and tail black, and I just kind of left it like that for a while. She looked like, it looked like I was just riding around on a normal paint horse wearing, like, neon blue tech. And I just left her like that. <laughs> what do you plan to do in 2024? Um, do my college stuff, progress the channel, and live. <laughs> Survive, mostly. Trying <laughs> a cherry limeade energy drink, and this is hella tasty. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Do you register your classes yet? Um, unfortunately, I think I have to register for the summer, um, because I don't, I think I, I think I got an email saying that, uh, saying that most of the classes that I, I would have registered for were full. I got, I was very late with it, so I think I'm probably gonna have to register for the summer instead. I've already made my family aware that I might not get in for the spring semester. <laughs> I didn't, I uh, didn't realize Hannah was in chat. Different Hannah, but I see you. DM and me, I see you. Those for 2024 the saves last year. Stay alive and don't get pregnant. Real. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I have the same goals. <laughs> don't add to the population, don't remove from the population. That is all I care to do. <laughs> you think the graveyard Mustang was cute and you could be completely honest? Um, I think it was okay. Like, not, not really my type. Ooh, a jester hat. Hey, uh, hey, Tango, you got a, you got a new fish I can have in exchange for these jester hats? <laughs> you wanna, you got a new fish you could sacrifice for these hats? Totally cool if not. I just, you know, I have these hats. <laughs> let me, let me see what hats I have available. Just 
monster. Where's that one I wanted to keep? That one's... Oh, I already equipped the one I wanted to keep. Okay. I just won this one. Um, but I also have this one. You know, if you got any fish. <laughs> I've got these jester hats up for fish. These two. The only unequipped ones. My favorite one I own is um this one. I love this one. But these two are up for fish. <laughs> What's your favorite season? Fall or autumn. Before you guys make fun of me. Um... Yeah, it's autumn. New to your streams. Previously was watching your videos, and I'm going to IUH hunt while watching the stream. Which island should I IUH hunt on? Um, <clears throat> I think... I think you should IUH hunt on... I'm gonna say Royal. Why not? <laughs> Make them pay 76k. I'm not going to exploit Tango in that way. I'm sorry, Aloha. You have exploited me, and you have exploited Tango way too, way too much. I refuse. I'm just looking for some frozen fish because I really want to gamble. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna gamble with the presents later. Anything I don't like, um, I'm gambling with the presents later. So we're we're visiting snowflakes and presents. So I gotta get some snowflakes with the fish, and then anything I don't want from the from that. <laughs> Freely dotoed 5k. I'm a saint. That's so true. Um, so I've got all of this. I've got these dedicated to the present machine later. Um, this is also dedicated to the present machine later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Caden is Caden. The other one is Wyden. <laughs> that's, that's how that's going. What's your lucky island? Um, desert and lunar. <laughs> I can't pick just one anymore. Definitely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What island is next? Uh. I'm gonna go to. Uh, it was forest. Okay. My. I just stopped thinking for a minute there. <laughs> yeah, and then we go to Blizzard, and then we reset, and then we come back, and then ugh, more running. <sighs> What's your favorite holiday? Halloween. Boop. Yeah, they- that's why they- they got rid of it. Tango is right. None of these horses have fancy hair. Like, give me- go to the salon, please. If you guys go to the salon, you'll live a life of luxury. Please, horses, go to the salon. I will- I will literally give you a life of luxury. I think the rework was really good. Um, especially the addition of the vault. I think it- I think I would have been a lot more disappointed since, like, if they didn't have the vault. If I watch list if I'm not already with my TSA record. Literally poofles. The stuff you told me about how like you always get selected for a search, like I <laughs> I you could be on a list. You very well could be. Ooh, 418 this time. <laughs> Thanks video because the subscribers be in it. Um, I I only ping for viewer participation when it's something that requires, like, people specifically to be in it. Ah. 
Do you find the up the upcoming update useful? Yes, actually. Um, it's it's kind of required for the game to evolve. I'm not gonna go on the same tangent I went on last stream. Um, about about it, but it's it's going to be useful. It's kind of it's kind of required for the game to progress. How are you gonna celebrate 10k subs? I have unfortunately already promised you guys a second 24 hour stream and I don't even know what else I feel like doing. <laughs> Remember was in one of your videos at the end of Why didn't you might have been in more than one video? Like I know Nyx has been in a couple, Tango's been in at least two. Um Aloha has been in three. <laughs> um Stuff like that. I know there was- there's a, um, I've been in what? Uh, videos. Aloha, I think you're in two of my giving away every rare horse I catch videos. And you're also in... Um... I can't remember what other video you're in. I think you were- it wasn't the game show video, because we weren't friends yet. Um, how many pumpkin pressure rounds do you have? Uh, at least two. <laughs> the answer is five. That's it. Not many. I didn't, um, I didn't really play a lot during that event. I don't think I have any wild caught ones, do I? No, I don't. But look at Mango! Look at little baby Mango. Yep. Akira's been in a video. I'm the donor for all the gambling ones. Not all of them, Tango. There was also, um... There was, there was also, uh, my training receipt video in which most of chat helped me with that one. <laughs> you were helping Kai at the time, so you couldn't, you couldn't help me with my, my Steven gambling. <laughs> but I did buy the treasure chest from you, and you did give me the fish. Yeah. Well, are you gonna stream for? I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if Wildfire Song added pets? I think they've said, if I remember correctly, it, it's a very unlikely thing. Um, I I honestly, like, that'd be kind of cute, but I, I don't see them serving any function. <laughs> like I don't I don't see them really having a function or any purpose. So I don't I don't know if I'd be on board for that idea, but it, it could be okay. Alright, come here guys, I gotta sell you. There we go. Really quickly sort by newest. Lock the top off. Okay, you're locked. Gotta lock you guys. Because you guys must be kept safe. Okay. What would you do if you caught an IUH event in a stream? Like, what would be your reaction? Um... I don't know. Probably- I think- I think I just have the same reaction I've had for the other three I've caught on stream. Cause who all- who all have I caught on stream? Um, I caught the V1 Clyde on stream, but that was over on Twitch. I caught Cheesecake on stream. I caught my Limestone Appy on stream, so that's the third. And then I caught my Blue Pearl Percheron on stream. So I've caught four on stream. All of them had pretty much the same reaction. No, I'm lying. Sorry. Um, two of them had a really excited reaction. Like, I was almost screaming. And then two others, I just went, guys? Guys? And then I caught it. 
Um, so I, I think, I think my reactions vary. They might just be the usual ones. All right, let's, let's go sell these first. And then, then I got, then I'm going to refresh. Man, I'm having so much trouble speaking today. No, the foal can stay. Where it's not wording? Exactly. The foal can stay. It has to stay. Once it's an adult, I'm selling it, though. As soon as that foal is an adult, it's going to Larry. Right. Oh God. <laughs> All right. We just got another five things moved into my inventory. This is not good. This is this is not good. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Poofles, I'm voting on the first one. Oh, look at these. Look at these Christmas-looking balloons. That's so cute. I'm not gonna buy them, but that's so cute. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day soon. Who's gonna be your Valentine? Um, my vault won't activate even when I have 680 out of 640 inventory space. You know why? I think you have to be over by at least 50. I think you have to be over by at least 50, and you're only over by 40. I don't actually know the threshold, but I'm going to assume it's 50, because I also was over by 45, and it didn't do anything. But the last time I put new stuff in my vault, I was over by 300. So I don't actually know... Don't, don't take my word as fact, but, like, I'm assuming it's 50. <laughs> Welcome back, Harlo. Yeah, the last time new stuff got put in my inventory, I was over by 300. So, I... <laughs> mm. uh, that's how that went. Yeah, that video turning in snowflakes. I was over by 300 by the end of that video. Are any of your titles married? No, um, they used to be. <laughs> Just a fun fact. Um, two of my titles used to be married, but, um, they're divorced. <laughs> they're divorced. <laughs> uh, Trident and Triton, my, my first mare and my first stallion, uh, they are divorced. Not for any, like, specific reason. It's just they, you know, I I feel my titles just drifted apart and decided it was best to split. They're still best friends and they are wonderful co-parents. <laughs> to, the, to their two lovely foals, Spearmint and Mint Bliss. An event? Hi, Tier IUH. I was about to catch if it got disconnected. Cry. I would cry. But I actually have a Valentine this year? Me too! If not, I'm still gonna host my yearly Valentine's Day stream. <laughs> I said it's so early me too until this is the word for ex married. Yeah. <laughs> Mint Bliss, I love that name. They're named after Trident Gum. 
Their their gum flavors. <laughs> Cause their mom's name is Trident. <laughs> She's named after both the weapon and the gum. Did you ever heard Sanrio character? I I'm gonna be really basic here and I'm gonna say Hello Kitty, because I don't care for the rest of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna just be really basic and pick the most obvious choice. Hello, hello, welcome in. <laughs> I don't actually care for any of the characters, but if I had to pick one, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Hello Kitty. Just just because I remember really liking Hello Kitty when I was like four. <laughs> it's like a two-in-one day for me. Oh, that's so true, Tango! <laughs> Technically, everybody everybody celebrates. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tango, that's that's kind of oh that's kind of OP though. You get to celebrate regardless of whether or not you have a Valentine. That's <laughs> that's overpowered. You're just unstoppable. Oh my god. You're like a you're like a super villain. Like every time your enemy is like, haha, I found your weakness. You're just like, haha, no you haven't. <laughs> Real Tango. It is your day. You don't yet. Title. Uh, I don't know if it fits the theme. Um, but maybe? Welcome back, Katie. Man, my room is cold. What's the temperature outside? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have figured out why my room is cold. I have poor insulation and it is 24 degrees outside. Pretty, pretty cold for, well, actually that's pretty warm for January. Um, we, we haven't had snow, <clears throat> which is really weird for where I live. If you guys don't know, uh, I'm not going to say where I'm from, but... Where I'm from, we are- we usually have, like, literal feet of snow, um, by now. And we just recently only got a little dusting of snow. It's really weird that we don't have snow, and it's- it's definitely gonna take some getting used to. But this is the first year that by January, we don't have snow. I know where you're from. I know where you're from too, Aloha. I even know what your bedroom looks like. <laughs> Aloha, you gave me a bedroom tour. What are you saying? What do you mean, how? You gave me a bedroom tour. <laughs> I made fun of your... Your little, like, expensive designer tapestry you've got on your wall, and you're like, you want to see what else I have? And you gave me a bedroom tour. <laughs> Aloha. real okay hang on i'm missing chat messages i'm scrolling how do you have so much money um well when i'm not currently in a crisis for inventory space i um i catch horses and i sell them <laughs> like i I'll, I'll usually drop like 11.3k on 100 bronze lassos and I'll just start catching everything in sight and selling it. Um, however, I can't at the moment as I am 
struggling. Is Mel still in chat? All right, sorry. I had to I had to ask Mel to do something. Hi, am I late? Yeah, just a little. Uh, where I am, um we have <laughs> There we go. Where I live, we usually have so much snow that it's, like, almost deadly. <laughs> I'll put it that way. We get so much snow, it's almost deadly. So, um, for, for this, alright, to be already in January and have little to no snow at all is really bad. <laughs> like, it's, it's really bad. That is not a good thing. Um, it usually ends up meaning that either we are going to get a bunch of snow right before winter ends, or there is going to be an issue, and we are going to get a very hot summer following. And that's not good. That is bad. <laughs> Welcome back, horsey! Bye, Crystal! Can I see Cheddar Whale? You can, in just a moment. Yeah, right now where I am, it is- hang on, I gotta wait for it to update. Okay. <laughs> At the moment, it is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I just updated it. It is currently 20 degrees Fahrenheit where I am. So, I'm hoping if we get snow, we keep it, but Usually years like this mean that we're going to have a very, a very, very hot and almost unbearable summer. Which I'm not looking forward to. I don't handle heat well, and usually when we don't, when we don't get snow, we get a very, very hot summer. And it's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all, and it definitely means there's something wrong with our environment. <laughs> no, cause like I look, I look forward to, um, I look forward cause the colder we get in the winter and the more snow we usually get, we don't end up with a like super hot summer. But lately in, in my area, the last few years, it's been getting warmer in the winter and hotter, like much, much hotter in the summer. And that's not a good sign. Um, so it's a little concerning being that the entire time that I, I've lived here, like in this area my entire life, we've always like gone so extremely into the negatives that like, here, I'll put it this way. The threshold for canceling school here for a snow day due to cold temperatures is negative 15. That is, that is when they cancel for cold temperatures here. Negative 15. Um, we have to have so much snow that you can't get cars out for them to cancel school. Like, just for snow. Um, and it, it has to be really, really drastic for them to cancel here. Yes, Jordan. That's the kind of area I live in. Okay? It has to be negative 15 Fahrenheit for them to cancel school due to wind chill. Like, not even wind chill. Just due to the temperature. Um, and that's how it's been my entire life. In elementary school, if it was so cold that we couldn't stand at the bus stop, um, the, the apartment building I lived in, like, our neighbors would be like, hey, you can, you can kind of stand on my patio until the bus gets here. It's warmer over here. Like, they had a little heater on their patio, because they, uh, this neighbor, this particular neighbor would go out to smoke every day. Um, and so they had a little, a heater on their patio. They're like, it's gonna be warmer over here. You guys can, um, you guys can just kind of chill out over here. You should be fine. 
Uh, and they would do that every single time when it was too cold to stand at the bus stop. Like, I, I'm not kidding when I say I'm so far north, it's, like, Step Canada. <laughs> like, it was, it was literally, I, mm. when I say Step Canada, I mean Step Canada. I am so far north. Uh, I'm still in the U.S., but I'm, I'm very, very far north. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, guys, I will be, I will be right back. As soon as all four seasons. We also have all four seasons where I am. We have all four. We get all four of them. I'm in one of the locations in the U.S. that does. No, 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 no. Alaska is much worse than where, uh, than where I am. I'm, I'm in the U.S., but I'm, I'm just, I'm the northern U.S. Sorry. <laughs> there is somebody, somebody, you guys know, screaming in the background. And, um, may have just said a word that I... I don't know if got picked up, but I really hope not. <laughs> Colorado, that's a uh, that's more that's that's a much further down than where I am. <laughs> Didn't hear anything. Oh, thank God! <laughs> thank God, Tango. I'm gonna DM you real quick. Alright. What did I miss? You didn't miss much. We're just talking about how cold we are. All of us are freezing. <laughs> no, guys. Both Minnesota and Michigan absolutely suck. I would hate I would hate to be there. <laughs> Terrible states. You know, I'm just, you know, if, if I were to, you know, I'd be like, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad place right now. You know, your friend's like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, I, I just, one of those states, you know. <laughs> Hate both of those states. I love, I love some good old, uh, U.S. state slander. For example, I hate North Dakota. Will I tell you guys why I hate North Dakota? No, I just, I hate North Dakota. <laughs> I can't stand North Dakota. I won't tell you why, but I just I can't stand it. <laughs> Do you have a hundred plus spirits? Yes. <laughs> No, wait, I mean, no. What are you talking about? <clears throat> <laughs> what are you talking about? Why about- I- I don't have that many spirits. What? What's another state I have beef with? Um. I- I have beef with Texas. Now, guys, don't say where you're from, please. But, like, I'm just- I'm just stating- Stating states that I have personal beef with. Do you like Tennessee? No. Tennessee is in fact not the only 10 I see. <laughs> it's like a 1 out of 10. <laughs> um, let's see. I also have beef with, um, uh, Georgia. I've got beef with Georgia. 
Do you have beef with Mississippi or Alabama? Who doesn't have beef with Alabama? It's Alabama. <laughs> like, <laughs> who doesn't have beef with Alabama? <laughs> um. Hmm. What else? I'm trying to think of other states that I, I have beef with. South Dakota is okay. South Dakota is fine. North Dakota, we ha we're we fighting. Um, I... I'm on good terms with Oklahoma. Oklahoma and I are on good terms. Um, California and I are on good terms. <laughs> uh, Florida and I... Mm, we're on good terms. Not not exactly good terms when it comes to Florida, but <laughs> oh, we're on good terms because I've I've got a ton of friends in Florida. I can't hate the state that created my favorite people. Um, I've got beef with Nevada. Uh, Washington and I have beef. What about Wyoming? Who cares about Wyoming? <laughs> I I don't think anybody um I I don't think anybody in Wyoming cares about Wyoming. There's nobody who cares enough about Wyoming to actually like have beef with it. Um what about Virginia? Both of the Virginias are okay on my book. Um Rhode Island? I love Rhode Island. It's too small to cause any conflicts. <laughs> Tango to answer your DM. No, I don't have beef with that state. Indiana? I do have beef with Indiana, actually. Um let's see, what other what other states do I do I fight with? Here, I gave <laughs> I gave Xander a list. <laughs> uh these are states that I, I do actively fight with. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, <clears throat> the states that I had beef with yes <laughs> yesterday, two years ago technically, um, I- these are states that I- I will regularly fight with. The others, it's just like argument beef. Uh, North Dakota, Maryland, Texas, Arizona, Ohio, and Alabama. <laughs> there you go. Those are the ones that I- I do actually, like, have beef with. Um, like, serious beef, you know? Wisconsin? No! I could never hate my cheese lords. <laughs> I love Wisconsin. Just beef with the USA itself? Nah. Listen, I am- I'm only patriotic when I have to be. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's like those people who, um, who, uh, who, like, okay, I'll put it this way. If you are from outside of the U.S. and you are talking to me and you insult the U.S., I'm becoming I'm becoming patriotic. But every other day, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I don't like living here. <laughs> I'll be like, I want to move, but never actually move. What's your opinion on Italy? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I <laughs> I know that that every person who has uh, ancestry in Italy comments on TikToks being like, I'm Italian and this hurts anytime someone like snaps their pasta. But they could be like, it's mostly the Americans with the Italian history that do that. <laughs> so I will happily, I will happily like bash my own, my own, like my fellow people. <laughs> like mo most of the Americans with like Italian ancestry, but they don't actually like grow up with any of the culture are always on TikTok being like, um, I'm Italian and this hurts. <laughs> and it's always the American ones. Oh god, I love TikTok comment sections. <laughs> Welcome back, Cherry. <laughs> oh my god. In the country Austria, I am not a lot of information, but yes, I know it is a country. <laughs> so those of Pennsylvania and Maryland. I already said Maryland. Maryland and I are fighting. Because why does your flag look like that? 
I, I don't like Marilyn's flag or your crazy weird like love of crabs. <laughs> Why do you guys love crabs so much? Like <laughs> every single person I've ever I've ever met from Maryland really, really likes crabs and is so proud of the Maryland flag. Like, okay, I get it. You export like so many crabs, okay? You get like the giant crabs. But like, why are you so proud? <laughs> Of that flag. Have you guys seen the Maryland flag? <laughs> Hang on, I'm bringing it up. <laughs> All of them are so proud of this. <laughs> oh wait, here's one in the shape of a in the shape of a crab. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on, I'm bringing it up. Because, <laughs> like, why are you guys so proud of your flag? <laughs> like, oh, hang on, that, that is huge. Because, like, why, why, they are always so proud of this. Why does it look like that? Listen, if I weren't hiding my location from you guys, I'd make fun of my state flag, too. Alright, this is the flag for Maryland, for anyone who- This is the flag of Maryland. Uh, for anyone who missed which state we were bashing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this is- this is for the state of Maryland. Can I see your flag? I... Mm, Tango, I'll show you my state flag after stream. We can we can make fun of my state after stream. <laughs> Didn't you realize each state had its own flag? You'll usually see your own state flag flying in your school somewhere. Uh, I know in my school they kept one in every classroom. Uh, in elementary school mostly. But you'll usually find it somewhere in your school. They, they usually keep it with the American flag. <laughs> Looks like England mixed with a race car, yeah. <laughs> Do some states not have a state anthem slash song? Um, I think most of them do. Uh, it's just nobody really cares too much. I know, once again, Maryland's is about crabs. <laughs> when I said this state was obsessed with crabs, I, I meant it. <laughs> Maryland's, like, uh, like, state song is about crabs. <laughs> oh, I'm always going to make fun of that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Maryland is my favorite state to make fun of. Water drinker or juice drinker? Water. I prefer water. I know, I know. Unheard of. I'm a streamer, but yeah, water. <laughs> I'm always making fun of Maryland. It's It's just one of those states that, like, just like Ohio, there's so much to laugh at. And, like, don't get me wrong, my state is weird as heck, too, alright? My state is no better. I'd give you examples, but that would literally reveal where I'm from. But my state is no better. <laughs> Do you have beef with Louisiana? No, but also I've never had Popeyes. We don't- we don't have Popeyes here. Did you miss this song? It's the corniest thing ever. Oh, I'm curious. Oh no, Tango! <laughs> uh, 
It's okay, Tango. I'll DM you mine. Uh, where is it? There it is. <laughs> Man, Tango, at least my state's got a unique one. <laughs> there we go. So it was something you beef about on some of the states. Okay, so Ohio. Have you guys ever seen, like, Ohio specialty food? Like, most of it is just something with chili on it. Okay? <laughs> like, that's one of the things I make fun of Ohio for. Not the fact that there's corn everywhere or that somewhere in the state there's an entire field of, well, corn made of concrete. Um, <laughs> like, they really do just, they either co cover everything in chili. Um... Or, like, there's just... Why does... Have you guys seen the, the concrete corn? Have you guys seen that? That's just in a random part of Ohio. Have you guys... Have you guys seen it? Do you guys want to see it? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna... <laughs> concrete cornfield. This is just in Ohio. And it's in the middle of a city, too. It's not in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of a city. <laughs> Stop, no. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Here's your- This is in the middle of a city. This isn't just in the middle of nowhere, by the way. This is- This is just statues of corn in the middle of a city. This is- This is just in front of some random businesses. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was like I was searching why of course I don't know they've got a field of corn just in the middle of nowhere like it's <laughs> like this is this is in Ohio hi Abby this is in the middle of just some random like town in Ohio. Like, this is in the city. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still laughing at the statues. Yeah, I- <laughs> I told you, I have beef with so many states. Not- just for funny reasons. Like, I'm not even actually mad at the states. Well, two of them I am, but... <laughs> it's just so funny to me. <laughs> oh my god. Why is there a picture of corn in Ohio on the screen? Um, because they have a random concrete cornfield just in a random town in Ohio. It's not even just out, it's not even in like a park. It's, it is a property in the middle of a city that is full of concrete corn. And I remember, I found it a couple years ago when I was looking for things to do in Ohio. Because I was thinking of taking a trip to Ohio, okay? Um, I, I was like, what would I even do there if I visited Ohio? <laughs> So I've got I've got a lot of friends there. So I'm like, if I visited Ohio, what would I do? So I, I went on like one of those travel websites and I searched up things to do in Ohio. And it's like you could visit the concrete cornfield. I'm like, what is a concrete cornfield? So I pull up pictures and it was just it's just this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's just this. <laughs> I, I remember sending it to my friend. I was thinking of visiting and being like, this is, this is your, this is where you're from? This is, 
This is like number five on things to do in Ohio. This would pro- this should probably be like number 12 if you're gonna highlight it. Uh, but there- there is so little to do that they- they asked me to visit a concrete cornfield. <laughs> and you know what? I actually might do it. Like if I go to visit Ohio, I want to go to the concrete cornfield. They've got me convinced. It's so funny that it's a perfect tourism strategy. Oh my god. I think food should be ready. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. I gotta terrorize someone real quick. There we go. <laughs> no, Cam, I sent you something. <laughs> I corrected your post, Cam. <laughs> oh my god. I might have to go get food. I think the food's been here for a while. I just haven't been able to go get it yet. Do you like chicken or beef? Beef. Always beef. Do you guys wanna do you guys wanna watch Malt dance while I'm gone? Do you guys, do you guys want to, you guys want to babysit malt? Okay. Here, you guys can babysit him while I'm gone. <laughs> babysit my little guy while I'm gone. Oh, hang on. I want him to stand somewhere else. Come here. Come here, little guy. Up here. There we go. No, go back. Okay. Alright, keep an eye on him, please.
I'm back! <laughs> Malta's crowded. No, he's okay. Look at him. My little dude. I need to get a picture of him like this. My boy. I love him. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I gotta do something important before I can start moving again. Trying to eat him. It's a good thing he's trained in self-defense. What are your quality settings as? Uh, I have high quality... And I should be on max graphics at least half of the time. Yeah. If you guys want to copy my settings, here you go. There we go. No, Malt is okay. Don't worry. He's he's all right. Here you guys, here's more of my settings if you want to copy them. <laughs> all right, come on, Malt. Forest is next. He can run forest, so he's okay. No, he is he is definitely not edible. Uh, but I would say if you guys are allergic to peanuts, especially if you're allergic to peanuts, I wouldn't try to eat him. Um, his name is Peanut Butter Malt for a reason. <laughs> um, so you you would seriously, seriously uh regret trying. <laughs> his full name is Peanut Butter Malt. What does color fading do? It's, um... It's the... You know how prismatic changes color? It's the fading in between it. So color changing items won't fade. Um, instead they just kind of flash between colors. Alright, come on, Malt. Let's run this. Most of the event. Are you age? Yep. Yes, he is. I know he looks like he's light chestnut, but he's not. <laughs> he's leathery. When'd you get him? He was a Christmas gift from, uh, Hannah on, um, on Monday. And I love him. He's living a life of luxury and he's spoiled. Yeah, he was a Christmas gift and I, I cried when I got him. <laughs> and I'm, I'm spoiling him. I gotta brush him in just a minute. I don't think Tango tried to eat malt. Malt is okay. There we go. Look at him. He's okay. He's living a life of luxury. <clears throat> Alright, let me brush him. Oh yeah, I was working on getting him another skill. We'll do that later, too. 
Yep, guys, usually when I, uh, when I join a public server, it's towards the end of stream. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I love him. Do I have any extra copper horseshoes? Copper. Oh, hang on. Okay, who are you on? Oh, you're just on a random tech -A. Okay, there you go. Now his his little shoes match. There's a horde at, a horde. A herd at mainland? No, I I tend not to catch the mainland ones. Alright, I don't know how well he's gonna handle Blizzard, but we'll try. Look, he's got shoes now. <laughs> I gotta get him a head accessory, I just haven't decided what. But he did get a little surfboard. Um. That's Palomino. Yeah, now he's got shoes. You get leathery tack? I don't think so. I wanted his second color to be dark brown regardless, so it didn't really matter too much. A little cowboy hat would be adorable on him. I'd have to get a dark brown one. If you don't catch the fjord herd, another won't come. I'm on the last island. I'm refreshing after this anyway. <laughs> That's why I don't care. Um, I'm on the last island I run. I'm refreshing right after I'm done with this island. Leathery crown? Eh. I don't want it to match too much with his hair. That's why, um, like, tail accessories are brown. He's got a lot of stuff that matches his hair, but it's further away from his hair. The closest thing to it is separated by, like, his, um... Uh, his, his bridle up here, where he's got his head bow. Where should I IUH hunt? Um, Volcano. Would he put a snowman hat on him? I I guess I could. Oh yeah, uh, I also have a slightly outdated website full of my titles. I'm gonna have to update that. That website has not been updated since the summer event. I've gotta update everybody that's on there. He could be a little gentleman. That's so true. I don't have many uh, dark brown head accessories that are cute at the moment. So I'll have to end up getting something. But for now, I think I might give him a dark brown paper crown. Unless they're an event or an IUH, I tend to leave all horses. You're traveling to Lunar, will you still have to pay coins even if it's a new server slash hub? I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no clue. Sorry, I got distracted. Alright, we're gonna take him- Oh, I gotta pick his hooves first. Hang on. The boy needs attention. There you go, Malt. One more. Come on, lift your head. <laughs> All right, pick up that pearl. 
All right. I gotta go back to mainland. Welcome back, Crystal! I got a dark brown cowboy hat with a decent second color. I'll donate it to Malt. Aw, thank you! Let's see if I've caught any herds. I don't think I have, but you know, just in case. No, okay. Time to refresh! <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at the picture of corn. <laughs> Is Mel still in chat? I don't know. How much does the Moonstone IUH stand out? Is it fairly visible? Yes, it is! It's actually pretty, like, really visible. I thought it did say 74. Hang on, what did she say? I missed it. A migraine, but yes. Yeah, she's just lurking. Alright. What's your second favorite IUH? Um... I don't know. Is it 73? I swear it says 74. I'm checking. No, it's a 74. Let's get rich and run for some events. Let's see. Oh no. How's our inventory hanging now? Alright. We now only have 18 slots open. <laughs> do leftover event tokens get converted into normal tokens after an event ends? Yes, they do! Feel so poor when I see your inventory. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we've got more holiday spirit. In which I gotta ask one more time. Tango, you got any fish for these hats? <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, any, any fish for these hats? We should convert coins into event tokens. It's actually much easier to get event tokens than it is coins. Um, cause you if you need to train a horse at a uh, training island, you get event tokens every activity you do. Um, if you need to mine anything, you get event tokens when you mine it. You get event tokens when you harvest stuff. Also, hi. <laughs> It's much easier to get uh, event tokens than it is regular stuff. Oh, Bro's just chilling over there. Sleepy. I check mainland to find events, but I just I never do. What IUHs are on Volcano? Um, Volcanic Black, Volcanic Orange, Pearly Black, and Prismatic. 
And before somebody says it, Volcanic Red is not a thing. <laughs> Getting ahead of the game on that one. Volcanic Red is not a thing. It is not an IUH color. Nope, Volcanic- Volcanic Red is not an island unique hair color. <laughs> Somebody always comes into my chat when I list off the Volcano IUH colors. Volcanic Red is not an IUH color. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of the game on that one. <laughs> Somebody always says it, so I'm jumping ahead of them this time. Yeah, I would love it in the future. I'd also like Neon Red. Volcanic purple should be- that's so true, Tango! Yep, volcanic red is not an island unique hair color. Most times when you are thinking of volcanic red, you are thinking of volcanic orange. <laughs> How long did it take you to get a million tokens? Um, usually when I drop beneath a million, I get back up to a million within like, um, a day. Sometimes three if I'm feeling lazy. So, usually, like, a couple days. Neon green? Ooh, I'd love to see neon green. A day? Yeah. When I desperately need tokens, I am- I- I go quote-unquote IUH hunting, but in reality, it's token grinding. It's just a lot more fun if you call it IUH hunting instead of token grinding. Hello, fish! Man, we've got so many people named fish in the chat. I've said this on a different stream before, but there are so many of you guys named fish. <laughs> Gonna do a video on that? I could! I had a video planned. Hey, bro, what's up? It's kind of fishy. <laughs> okay, usually you don't get me with comments like that, but... <laughs> oh, bro, that's funny. <laughs> have you tried Horse Valley? I have an entire video on trying Horse Valley. Um, and in my opinion, I don't think I would play it again. The tutorial is kind of, um... It's not, it's not properly optimized to actually teach you how to play the game. Um, because most people, they've got the quest button in just a little, a little tiny section of the screen. And while they tell you to do the first quest, which is just, like, how you get your horse, um, the, the button really just never flashes again. So you wouldn't really think to click it again. Um, and then it also doesn't tell you how to do the quest unless you hit the help button yourself. So you don't really get much of a tutorial... On Horse Valley and beyond that, like, I I couldn't really find much I liked doing beyond just fishing and mining. <laughs> like, um, I, I would try Horse Valley again if they had anything cool going on, so. But, I, I don't know, it's just kind of boring. Yeah, it, it definitely screams, like, older game. But even so, there are plenty of games from that time that have very good tutorials. Um, was a love at Horse Valley Legacy. Yeah. To be a big Horse Valley player and that Wild Horse was too complex. I think, 
I think Horse Valley is pretty good if you guys are just looking like specifically for just a normal, realistic horse experience. Like everything, everything's really slow and nothing's really super complicated. Beyond that weird bug with like putting your horse to sleep, like in their stall, um, beyond just like having them sleep in their stall, um, which the tutorial tries to cover but does not cover and leads you to the same button like six times. Um, beyond that, like it's a pretty simple game. It's just boring. <laughs> What's your favorite island? Desert. Oh, uh, how's Cheddar Whale doing? Cheddar Whale is doing wonderful. She is thriving. She is very, very, very good. Hello, hello. How are you? Yep. Her name is Cheddar Whale. She's named after those little, like, um... They're they're an off-brand goldfish. They're they're cheddar whales. They're crackers. They're very good. I like them. I was eating them when I found her, which is why she got that name. Sorry, I keep muting to eat. I've got I've got pizza right now. He read cheddar well, not at the moment. I'll get her out and let you guys see her in just a moment. I want to finish running lunar first. Oh yeah, Trident is my favorite. When are you ending? I have no idea. I've been live for like almost three hours now and I'm still just vibing. What's the you you get from Splash Overo? Red Roan Icelandic coats. Um. Um. Hmm. I actually don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't try for the breeding uniques. Any other island where I should check? Uh, check jungle. Yeah, it's probably... Tango's probably right. That's the only one I can think of that uses... Well, actually, isn't... Isn't that one doesn't... Hmm. That's a wonderful question. <laughs> I'm gonna assume Tango is right, because I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay. I don't really have any of the, the breeding unique, um, I was gonna say recipes. <laughs> I don't have any of the combos memorized. Oh, no, wait, I'll come back for the moonstone. Grab that.
This is my favorite coat. The Legacy Palomino Pinto. It is by far my favorite coat in the game. Um, I would say, above all else, please try not to be rude in my chat. Um, because even, even with kind of an excuse, we don't tolerate that usually. Um, I'd, I'd appreciate it if everyone would be nice to everyone else. Oh, I see more obsidian. Welcome back! Oh, there's nothing here either. I'll get Cheddar Whale out in a minute, guys. I know a few of you guys have been asking for Cheddar Whale for a little while. I don't- I don't think I do have a favorite just like regular Icy Coat. If I do, um, actually, I don't even remember what all of them look like. <laughs> I do have a favorite coat in-game overall. Like, I usually specify, like, a breedable coat, like this one. But, it's never have 1.3k plus toadstools. How many do I have? Jordan, I don't think I'm gonna judge you. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm gonna judge you at all. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna judge you. <laughs> is five hours the longest you've lived? Um, no, I think 20 hours is. No, sorry, 20 years. I'm still going. Going on 21. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna leave it alive for 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'm so funny. I make myself laugh. Uh, usually when people ask for my favorite coat, it's like a breedable coat, but I think my favorite coat in-game overall that is not an event coat is, um, the Palomino Reverse Dapple. I love these things, okay? <laughs> I I love the Training Island Unique Coats, both of them, but the Palomino one is my favorite. Yeah, Evan is our is our honorary mod. <laughs> kind of like how Xander is an honorary mod. Nah, don't worry. I also have all of them memorized. <laughs> uh, the longest I've ever been live was, um, 48 hours. Yeah, uh, I, I, most of you guys don't know this, I was a, I've been a Twitch streamer for going on three years. Um, so over on Twitch, I've done multiple 48 hour long streams and multiple 24 hour long streams. Over on YouTube, my longest streams have been 24 hours. 24 hours was the longest I did on YouTube. Um, followed by 12 hours, followed by 10 and a half. 
Uh, but my longest streams in general, regardless of platform, was 48 hours over on Twitch. I think it was actually more like 49, but, you know. So, that's, that's my longest in history. Oh, I forgot to pet Ranch. Ranch, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> this pizza is so good. What's your favorite basic icy coat? Um. Mm, I think. Hang on. I'm gonna say my favorite base basic icy coat. This one's got a nice Lanet coat on it. We're gonna go with that one. I don't like it on Mustangs, but the icy one is um so good. And then mainland IUH. Eh. I don't know. I I think they don't really need a mainland one. Yeah, when messages are disappearing, that's mods doing their job, just like Tango said. Say so, a Mustang Coke goes well with the pressure rounds? No. I just don't like the Mustang coat. I will I will take the icy coat on a pressure on any day. Welcome back, horsey. Well, they wooden stone IUH. I feel like they could I feel like those could be additions to forest or jungle even. Like I would love to see a wood IUH on forest. A stone one on mountain. I feel like mainland just doesn't... I don't know. I don't think we need them on mainland. Like, stone could go on on probably... With the world overhaul? Yes, and I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I'm super excited. Two wood variants, jungle wood on jungle. Yes! Oh my god, that is so true. Sorry, I'm I'm still muting because I'm still eating. <laughs> and I don't wanna I don't wanna crunch on my food I'm like right into my mic. Hmm, that's true. Oh oh god. Ranch, my girl, what happened there? I think it'll still be fine. I don't... I don't think it's gonna change much. They said that they're gonna adjust the, the way that horse spawning functions. I 
I don't know. I think the vouchers kind of kind of do that thing, Sarah. I feel like they're the vouchers are already fine in that regard. This pizza is very good. Just thought I'd add that. This is so good. Oh yeah, my bad. I forgot to get Cheddar Whale. <laughs> Let me get her out. Couldn't find her for a second, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know where she was for a second. Here's my girl. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. I don't have pineapple on my pizza right now, but yes it does. was giving you guys a 360 while I chewed on my pizza. Aw, that sounds so cute. Love the pearly IOHs. They're like my dream IOH. I don't care what color. I just want a pearly. I get it. Alright, let me put her away. I don't even take her out in public servers. I've already been swarmed three times for her. So she stays she stays in my inventory. I don't like taking her out in public servers or anything like that. It's not safe. <laughs> I don't I haven't even been taking malt out in public servers. The, the one time I wasn't swarmed was because I was in a rich server, um, and I was also ha using Tango as my bodyguard. <laughs> no, it makes sense. P pineapple on pizza makes sense. Why don't you think it was 73? Oh, good. It's been 74 for a while. I'm I'm fairly certain that I I changed it right when it when I got number 74, so it's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> I get it. I have moments like that too. I use videos on YouTube that people catch them. It's okay. It takes a lot of time to catch one. Getting strawberry shortcake. Can I... Evan, you're gonna have to remind me who strawberry shortcake is. What will you do when you get to 100 titles? I don't know. My vow. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I have the name of Tango's memorized. I've got Kai's memorized. I have Cam's memorized. I just didn't know yours yet. <laughs> okay. I will, I will have to keep that in mind. I'm trying to get apple juice a bunch of friends. So, you know. So basic. No. -uh. It could be worse. You could name it like Cupid or something. <laughs> Is it true RUHs can spawn in herds? Yep, they can spawn in herds.
Neom. Then break that. Ooh, 608. I think I think I also have a strawberry shortcake. I just I really don't know what it is. It might be a V2 valve. Or is that just shortcake? No, never mind. Not a strawberry shortcake. I think is I think its name is just shortcake. I think his name. I believe it's a man. <laughs> In 40 seconds you will catch something rare. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take me like 30 seconds to get up this hill. <laughs> What's your favorite cake? Um. Oh, I'm gonna say lemon. I love lemon cake. Um, I used to hate it. No, we're going with we're going with the base of strawberry shortcake. We're going with uh, the angel food cake. I realize I can't get enough of it. It's it's like a drug. I love that stuff. Cause my 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 favorite dessert. Sorry, I keep stuttering today. I don't know why. Okay, my favorite dessert is strawberry shortcake. Um, and I forgot there was cake in strawberry shortcake. <laughs> my second favorite is lemon. <laughs> um, if you guys want my favorite kind of muffins, my favorite muffins are lemon poppy seed uh, uh, followed by banana nut. Um, there you go. Those are my two favorite muffins. And my favorite cake. <laughs> you guys are getting so much lore today. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna make a lot of people upset with this one, or at least I made Xander upset with my next one, I'm gonna say. My favorite kind of pizza is just, um, pepperoni, mushroom, and black olives. Alright, sorry. I was eating pizza. What a combo, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I, um... Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I said I was gonna upset so many of you. Most, most of my viewers don't like black olives, and they don't like mushrooms. They are by far some of the least favorite toppings for you guys. It's good, I promise. What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is local, so I can't say it. So instead, I'll give, I'll give you a compromise. And I will give you my favorite fast food restaurant, and it is Wendy's. Sometimes McDonald's if I'm in the mood. But it's usually Wendy's. Not sponsored, but <clears throat> if you haven't tried their loaded nacho burgers, try them. And the queso fries, amazing. Not sponsored. <laughs> this is just my genuine opinion. It is so good. I have this weird feeling you should go on Volcano after this. Hmm. I've already been on Volcano. Loaded nacho burger? Yes! Tango, look it up. It's so good. Still trying to catch an event, IUH? Yeah. What was your luckiest moment in Wild Horse Islands? Um. Uh. I'm gonna say catching two IUHs in two days. Um, <clears throat> I got Mulan on December 3rd, 2022. She was a neon, she is a neon blue paint horse. Uh, two days later on December 5th of 2022, 
I caught a neon purple V1 Clyde. I'm gonna say that's my luckiest moment. Two, two in two days. <clears throat> Followed by December of uh, 2023, I got, <laughs> I got, I got a limestone Appaloosa, a blue pearl Percheron, and a an orange pearl Frisian. There you go. December has just been my lucky month the last two years. Hey bro, what you doing up here? Why uh why don't you have fancy hair? What's up with that? Hmm? I I thought <laughs> I thought we were in agreement. The next time I showed up here, you know, you'd you'd have been to the salon. Okay. <laughs> Hope the wife's doing good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. I should really want that burger. It's like $12 to get the burger and queso fries. You traded your V1 Neon Purple Clyde, right? Yes, I did. We don't talk about what I got for it, but, um, yes, I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little ashamed of that trade. Truth or Dare Wild Horse Islands Edition. I don't know how much I trust that. <laughs> uh, Royal. <sighs> Do you think Wild Horse Islands add a Avalucci coat? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I I'm not a horse person. I I know little to nothing about most horse breeds. My favorite horse fun fact is that they're lactose intolerant. Cause me, just like me for real. All right, like I. <laughs> that's the that is the most fun horse fun fact that I can give you. Like that is that is the funnest fun fact I can give you about horses. <laughs> like I I know they're lactose intolerant but I also know that once in a while they can have uh, Cheez-Its because they're made with artificial cheese <laughs> I I know that there's a horse on TikTok that really likes those Christmas cakes that they that little Debbie's sells only only once in a while but I know it likes it <laughs> like I the horse pages I follow Teach me the most obscure stuff, but I still can't tell you anything about horses. <laughs> I like the video of the person being like, Squidward, you want to cheese it? <laughs> Do you want to cheese it? <laughs> oh, yep, that one wants to cheese it. <laughs> Horses with the sibling go to like peppermints, Gatorade, and molasses water. I get it. I like Gatorade too. Those horses are my friends. <laughs> Big T, what is your dream, IUH? Um. Uh. I was gonna say any event, IUH, but I kind of. That's been solved. <laughs> like, that was dream horse number three. Um. Hey, what you doing? Why, uh. Where's your hair? You know, I just spoke to I just spoke to your uh, your husband. How you doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've just vaguely threatened two horses. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs>
Listen, sometimes Ed Sheeran decides to appear, sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> Why are you so fast? Tango, as the streamer, because I'm logged into my YouTube account and so it can tell that I am the one streaming, I get to see all messages before chat does. Sometimes I'm not fast enough, but I'm still very fast, Tango. <laughs> I've I've been my own stream moderator for two years, Tango. Two years. <laughs> Going on three. I moderate for my I moderate for all of my streams on, on Twitch especially. That's why I'm like, I'm literally overkill. I stream on both platforms, so I I know all of the moderation stuff on both platforms. I'm, I'm a double whammy for any streamer who's like, I really need a mod! Who like, knows both? Boom! I know both! Feel threatened. <laughs> Alright, it's time to go to forest! Do you plan on Twitch streaming soon? I already- I stream on Twitch, um... I've been streaming on Twitch for the last two years. Can herds suddenly disappear? Nope. A player has to catch them or they just kind of sit there. I have been a Twitch streamer for two years, Jordan. I don't know when I stream on Twitch, I just do. I don't know, I might in the next, like, few days. I've just been a little busy, so I've been putting all of my focus on YouTube. Usually if I have a game that I wanna- I wanna play, and it's like a more older- it's an older audience-oriented game, that's when I hop on Twitch. Then there's also just the Five Nights at Freddy streams, which I just think are funny to do. <laughs> so I do them on Twitch. You seem tired. I... just a little bit. <laughs> just a teeny weeny little bit. You be live for the next two hours? I can't guarantee that. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna be live, so I can't make any guarantees. There have been numerous occasions where I've been like, Haha, I'm probably gonna stream until this time, and then I stream like much longer, or I stream much shorter. So I do not make guarantees on stream length. No fancy hair. Are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. Get some fancy hair. Don't stare at me like that. Just get some fancy hair. Look at that face. Have you ever fallen asleep during stream? On Twitch once, yes. YouTube, no. <laughs> I I refuse to to even close my eyes for longer than, like, two seconds while I'm streaming on YouTube. How many IUHs do you have right now? 11. Is there an age limit for Twitch? Uh, Twitch has the same requirements that YouTube does. Um, except knowing, knowing my chat, most of you guys are not abiding by YouTube TOS. Um, YouTube and Twitch both require you to be 13 years or older to make your account. YouTube will automatically usually set you to YouTube Kids if you set your age as being under 13. Um, don't say your ages in chat, please, but I know so many of you guys are bypassing YouTube's terms of service. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's just Twitch has an older audience to begin with. It's mostly older users being on Twitch. Yeah, I do see you guys. That's why sometimes when, uh... And, again, no ages in chat, please. I don't want to know your age. That's why when some of you guys post a video, and 
like maybe maybe you're in it and YouTube can maybe it gets reported usually your comments will get disabled um and it it'll be very well one they'll either take it down or two your comments just stay disabled <laughs> cuz it's it's usually if um is Mel living with you yeah I think so <laughs> no sorry not I think so yes she is She's just in the other room, why? <laughs> listen! Listen. The answer was yes, I just- I don't know why I said I think so. Hey, in my defense. Yeah, no, you got me there. <laughs> she is, in fact, related to me. I really should know the answer to that question. <laughs> no, it's fine. Alright, give me money. Oh. It's okay. We'll make it 106. There we go. Why don't you try to forever pull a reindeer? They don't have a full model, so I can't imagine anything dra anything cool would happen. Have you played Adopt Me before? I have, yeah. Yeah. Do you like Adopt? I do. Ranch does not have her tax set. Um, most of you guys know this already, but Ranch doesn't wear black. She wears brown. This is Cruella's tax set. You're right, let's make it 1.6 mil. There we go. She has her bone. Yeah, she's got her antlers and her bone. But, and her, her horseshoes. These are hers. But the the saddle and the bridle, they are, they belong to Cruella. What's your best thing on Adopt Me? Well, I was gonna... I was probably going to end soon. Do you guys just want to see my, my stuff on Adopt? <laughs> like, I'd be willing to show you guys, because I'm going to be ending here in just a few minutes. Do you guys just want to see it? Sure? Okay. I'm going to go into my private server. <laughs> All right, it's opening. See what? Yeah, all my stuff on Adopt. <laughs> I was asked what I have. It's easier to just show it than tell it. Oh, this is Sugar. Don't mind her. <laughs> so this is Sugar. This is my baby. Alright. I don't have my house set up in a very drastic way, but, you know. Okay, well, cool. Why does it look so stinky? <laughs> Why has it got stink fumes coming off it? Anyway. Um, this is Splenda. Mm -hmm. This is, this is Splenda. 
Splenda and Sugar uh, don't really like each other, but Sugar was the Sugar is the oldest, as you can tell. Sugar is on the wall. Province, uh, Ginger, and Sparky are on the walls. Um, just go to my favorites category. This is Moose. This is Moose. I promise she doesn't bite. <laughs> she really does not bite, I promise. <laughs> uh, here's Province. This is my girl Province. She's got her name on the wall over here. Um, my very first pet in this game was Ginger. Where is she? Okay, here's Ginger. I got her. Um, I think I got her right after she was added to the game. I've had her for quite a few years. Um, her name is over here on the wall. I love her. She's got a son named Copper that uh, Mel owns. See, proud panda mom. She was my first pet. <laughs> she was my first serious pet. Um. Okay, I've got... Um... Oh, I've got Almond. This is Almond. Uh, he's been cosplaying Beetlejuice for the last couple of years. Because I keep forgetting to... A couple of years. Whenever accessories were added. Like, whenever accessories were added, I got him this hat. And he's been cosplaying Beetlejuice for the last couple of years. Um, this is Lasagna. <laughs> he thinks he's a ninja. Um, he really likes anime. I just kind of spoil him, so that might be my fault, but this is lasagna. <laughs> um, some of these don't have names. I think most of them don't have names. Who does have a name that I know of? Okay, neither of these are named. That's province. Hang on, I'm looking for somebody that does have a name. Where's Albert? There he is. Come here, Albert. This is Albert. <laughs> As you guys could tell, very much named after Flamingo. Um, I I used to be a Flamingo, uh, like a very... Okay. I used to be a very loyal Flamingo watcher. So I named him... Um, a very long time ago. I don't know how long I've had this bird. Um... Who else has a name? That's lasagna. Most of you guys don't have names. You don't have a name either. Oh my gosh. These are the ones that were named Spice. I was making another one. Um, Who, who has a name? Do you? I think that one was my original. Yeah, I love how they curl up in my arms. They're so cute. Looking for somebody that has a name. Okay, well, that's my original. What about Timber? Oh my gosh, where is Timber? Do you guys want to see my, my default cat? My original cat? Where are you, Timber? Timber? Timber, me boy. Where are you? Timber. This was, this was my cat. My very, this was my actual first pet. This was my cat. His name is Timber. <laughs> I've had him since I started this game. It's my boy, Timber. I love him. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Look at him. Alright, there we go. 
I don't think I really have anybody else with a name. Most of these already- most of these just have their names they already had. Uh, except this one. I did name this one. Hang on, we gotta- <laughs> I- I don't know. I- I haven't hopped on this game in a while. Who else did I name? None of them have names, I know that. Okay, you also don't have a name. I've got a few that have been named, I just don't remember. May I steal your account? No. <laughs> I've put years of work into this. I remember when Adopt Me didn't have pets. <laughs> Like, I, I remember when this game didn't have pets. I still have my vehicle from back then. I've got my little scooter from before pets were a thing. I've got my little scooter from before that. <laughs> yes, guys, it was a regular role-playing game before that. Like, I remember this sign was always here. But, like, it used to look so much different. This was just a regular role-playing game. That is- that is how Adopt started. It was just a role-play game. Yep, you used to trade toys and adopt kids, and that was all you did. Anyway, let's- let's feed my addiction. No, Santa! I don't want to talk. Please. All right, let's feed my addiction. Give me a car, please. <laughs> I'm asking politely. I used to sit in game and do this all the time. There was one point where I, I opened almost 101 go because I had saved them all up. Hello, hello. We're just finishing up the stream, so we're just kind of here. I'm about to end in just a, just a few minutes. Dang, no car. <laughs> Um, I've got a lot of my vehicles. Like, I've got three of these traveling houses. Like, I I've got three of these things. I used to think these were the coolest cars in the game. So I've got three. <laughs> I can't get on the bridge. <laughs> Come on, okay. <laughs> Do you accept fan art? If so, where? Um, I have a- I have a, a fan art section of my Discord server. And I also have, um... Why is the house moving? It's got wheels. <laughs> and a driver's seat. Like, there's- there's like a bed and stuff in here too. It's just a regular loft. No, it's a bed. There's a bed up here. <laughs> there's like a- there's a couch, a sink, a stove. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a Discord channel like in my server and there's also an email. Yeah, my other favorite vehicle I have, I it's not enough room to spawn a train here. Okay, whatever. There we go. Please, where can I spawn it? There we go. I worked so hard to get this train when it came out like when this train first came out and like was put in the game i wanted it so bad that i spent like almost days in game trying to win it <laughs> like i i spent so long in game trying to win this stupid train when it first came out i i saw this train and it was love at first sight <laughs> um, I also remember trying to win the banana. I- I won the banana after a while, but... I remember being so obsessed trying to win this. 
Um, then there was also the dogmobile. I used to have six of these. I've only got one now, but I used to have six of them. Um, there's a banana cart. Yeah, it's one of the retired vehicles, just like the dogmobile. Um, I've also got the original, I believe, 2018. Yeah, I've got the 2018 pumpkin carriage. Like, this is the one from, from 2018. Uh, the 2019 carriage is right here. This is the 2019 Halloween carriage. This is the one from 2019. Um, I've got some 2019 Christmas, Christmas eggs. I also have the 2023 ones, but I hatched those. Um, what else do I have? I kind of stopped collecting after a while. Like, I've got the, the old scooters, including my favorite Doge one. I don't really know what else I have. But I used to be really obsessed with this game, like, this, um, this game, I'll put it this way, this game was my obsession. This is, this game used to be what Wild Horse Islands is to me now. Like, I've got a lot of the older stuff, and I've got a lot of the newer stuff, but, like, this game used to be what Wild Horse Islands is to me now. Now I don't spend a lot of time in this game, because I just, I can't find it fun anymore. Oh, here, we can go through my toy collection. <laughs> um, what's my oldest stuff I have? You guys can tell I had a gift habit. I've got 55 of some of these. Some of these you're gonna see an insane amount of, like this. This thing. Or the pillow. Oh, I think Cam gave me this horse. <laughs> like, I, I have a an unusually large amount of some of these things. I've got the turkey plush from Thanksgiving. I've got the throwing pumpkin. Hang on, do I have a do I have a, a pet out at the moment? I don't. Hang on. Let's get let's get Ginger out cuz I know this belongs to her. Where is she? All right, here you go. Go get it. <laughs> I've got the pumpkin. Look at her. She's so cute. Mm. She is by far my favorite pet that I own. <laughs> you launched that? If you want one that can be launched. Oh, that one didn't go as far as it usually does. Oh. Oh, sorry. She's asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry for trying to make my make my red panda chase after something when she was tired. <laughs> this is my public apology. <laughs> this is my public apology. I'm I'm sorry. For, for trying to get my daughter to run across the street when she was tired. <laughs> Here you go. Get in the shower. <laughs> Can we have a house tour? Really, the only thing to see in this, um, in this house is, uh... Well, this is my pool. <laughs> my, my cringe, my cringy little middle-aged white mother signs all over the... <laughs> All, all over my house. You guys are gonna come to find the second floor has not been customized at all. Uh, so this is my pool. Complete with, uh, a, a mermaid scales, like, in the water. To make it... The joke was that it... The joke was that the pool was meant to look like gasoline. So, um, if you guys have ever, like, stepped in gas, like, on a... Like, or seen it on a parking lot, or, like, that might be oil. Regardless, you've seen, like, that rainbow texture it takes on. That was the joke here with the pool looking like that. Um, oh, there's Ginger. She's had a shower. She's good. Come here. Um, so this is where I take care of my pets. They just kind of come here. 
Um, sometimes they play the piano, which she's gonna do that while I give it to her. Here's my, uh, my living room. We're gonna turn that off, actually. Uh, more of my, more of my middle-aged white mother signs all over the walls. <laughs> um, here's my kitchen. Oh, wait, hang on. You guys won't be able to hear it, but. Um, I've got tea in here. I've got a little table that nobody uses. Um, we've got donuts and pizza in here. Um, oh, we don't have coffee in here. I thought I did. Some more food bowls in case people don't want to share. Some water. Um, by the way, if you guys, uh, if you guys have, like, had the Game Pass to change the radio, you still can. Like, you, you still can add stuff. But, um, it's, it's almost like you, um, it, it's, okay, if you had the DJ Game Pass, you got a Lavender Dragon, okay? Like, let me, you got one of these if you had the Game Pass, because Roblox, like, their radio system, their audio system was broken for a while. Um, so they gave anybody who had the Game Pass this to make up for it. Here you go, Province, you sit right there. Um, and so... You can still use the Game Pass. They've sort of fixed it a little bit now, but you can't buy the Game Pass anymore. Um, as you can see, I've done absolutely nothing up here. <laughs> except add that. Um, if we come into here, most of the default furniture is still in here. Um, except I've added this upper area. There used to be beds up here. <laughs> like, there used to be so many beds up here. Um, we've got some clothing... We've got a bathtub in here for God knows what reason. Here's a little living room. If we come into here. There's nothing in here. This used to be a bathroom. If we come into here. This is just extra beds. Um, if oof, um anyway. Um Yeah, that's the house. <laughs> There's really nothing to see. Everything is on the bottom floor. <laughs> um, what, what other homes do I have? There's nothing in there, I know that. There might be something in here. Is that a ritual room? What are you talking about? No, of course not. <laughs> I forgot that was there. Um, is this one with the. Oh, it is! Oh my god! Okay. This is the house that I used to use all the time. So this is my kitchen. I've got everything in here. Including water. Before you guys bash me for not giving my kids water. Um, all my friends and I used to sit at this table. Um, yeah, we used to sit at this table all the time. Oh. <laughs> People used to give me money so I put this sign here. <laughs> My spending habits are very bad and often disastrous. <laughs> um, we come over here. This used to be a disco room. I don't know what happened. Come down here. The pool. Completely undecorated, but you can go outside if you want to. Um, also, same pattern on the walls. <laughs> if we go upstairs, we'll come back to the little apartment complex right there. This was the really awkward bathroom that I never ended up fixing. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, there's towels above the door. Um, this was the bedroom. <laughs> you guys gotta- you guys gotta remember, I played with other people. This is about my friends. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is where I used to sit when I was trading in game. Like, I would sit down here. Hey, you sit there. Um, I would sit down here and I would just un do my trading announcements from in my house. Uh, because I hated being there and people just spamming trade requests at you. Um, this was my room. I never stayed in here. <laughs> but is that sign? 
I okay, there's history in this house. That's why I haven't taken this sign down. But I used to play with like six people at a time, and all of them would choose to be kids. Uh, so we would all get a bunch of money. Um, and because of that, I had so many beds. <laughs> And I put this sign up because there was one night where they kept just running away from me. <laughs> and I remember being on call and being like, you guys aren't going to survive. <laughs> and they're like, prove it. So I put this sign up. And then I'm like, alright kids, time to go to bed. So I carried them one by one. And on VC they would go, <gasps> like a gasp every time they saw the sign. And I just kind of left it up. Are there dog beds? Yeah, this one, this one is. Yeah, see? And dolls? What does that mean? Anyway. Um. Here's this. No, I know what that means. I'm sorry. Alright, so if we come up here, I use these, uh, these shelves as ladders. Here's one little area. And there should be a bathroom up top. Yeah, okay. I use this area as an apartment in my house. So, like, anytime another player wanted to stay with me, they had, like, a little apartment that led up here. <laughs> like more often than not I stayed in here like this was my favorite part of my house all right come here province <laughs> I don't want to leave her alone for too long I don't know she she broke a lot of stuff last time I did I don't think I have any other decorated houses like I don't think I decorated this one this is the one I always live in so that one's decorated but I think these are the only two I have decorated, because... I mean, <laughs> let me go to my my starter home real quick. Uh, yeah, my starter home is not decorated. <laughs> At all. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> you guys have seen into the, into the past of, uh, into my past. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Celebrity Mansion and the Modern Mansion were the two that I used most often. <laughs> Could it up me? It just wasn't fun anymore. I get that. That's why I don't play that often. I have to actually be playing with people to make it fun. I mean, I still log in to see Sugar. Especially Sugar. I got a really good deal on her. Um, I traded for Sugar. Look at her. Mm. Oh, you want to go to the playground? It's night, sugar. Come on. Okay, let's go. You should be wanting to sleep. Yeah, exactly. How are you so rich? I don't know. I know some of this is gifts from my friends, but, like, a lot of the first stuff I ever... Oh, good. You're tired enough that you don't want to run around. Okay. Here. Where is... Where is her stroller? There it is. This one's hers. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna end. Um, I'm getting kind of tired and I want to finish eating my pizza. But there you guys go. You got a tour of my Adopt Me inventory. Um, these are all of my strollers I have. I've got the french fry ones, the, the popsicle stroller. I've got some of the newer ones too. Like, I've got these. I've still got my bananas. Um... Yeah, this is- this is my- you, now you guys have seen my whole collection. Oh, but you know what that also means? Now whenever- whenever you guys see me in game and I throw one of these at you, you're gonna know it's me. I've got four of them. I used to frequently go into public servers, throw them, and watch people dance and get mad that they were dancing. <laughs> like, I would throw these at people all the time. <laughs> Um, I've got the hot cocoa stand. I've got a bunch of lemonade stands. I don't remember why. Um, got a marshmallow stand because I've got the camping set. Yeah, I used to go into game and and like throw the disco balls. Perfect. Keep doing that. I do. <laughs> How do you remember whose stroller is whose? Well, okay. So this one I bought for sugar. Um, I had just gotten her, and I, I, I got the stroller for Sugar. Um, and then the one that belongs to Ginger, 
Where is it? Is uh, the doghouse one. And then some of my pets have toys that are specifically theirs. So where's Province? There she is. Province. Province has something very special. Province is a lavender dragon that gets to play with a lavender bundle. <laughs> the lavender dragon gets the lavender toy. <laughs> Yeah, see? She's thriving. Yeah! I didn't know I even had the lavender bundle for the longest time. Um, I think that's that's kind of it for my inventory. I've got all of the, uh, all the dinosaur stuff. Um, I've got a lot of, I've got two duck balloons. <laughs> um, I don't think I have anything super impressive. I've got a potato. <laughs> like, just a potato. Um, yeah, I think this is all of my stuff. What is that? Oh, that's that's gotta be new. I don't remember when I got that. Yeah, I've got- it's just a potato. That's all it is. It is- <laughs> it is just a potato. <laughs> you sound so proud of the potato? No, I'm proudest of the turkey. Where is the turkey? Where are you? There's the lavender bundle. A little newspaper. I love the plate of food. Oh, I'm also very proud of my pumpkin, but I'm proud of my turkey. Look at it. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me also uh, hold a turkey pet. Turkey. <laughs> no difference. I don't see a difference. <laughs> a double turkey. One is real, one is fake. <laughs> all right i think i'm gonna end i'm getting really tired you guys know the drill when you see the thanks for watching screen type title in the chat i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i I've, I've been in a more of a streaming mood lately no wait will i see you tomorrow i might be staying at a hotel again tomorrow i don't know yet it's not confirmed i don't know yet um, but you guys have a drill. You see it? Tech title in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. If I don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you the next day. Good morning for now.